Okay, there we go. We should be, hopefully, hopefully we're good <laughs> at this point. Oh boy, yeah, that was the whole thing. So like, I have a list of damn near all the games that I own, right? Not literally every game that I own, but damn near all of them, okay? And so like, I, I looked on that list to see which console I had uh, Resident Evil 3 on because like, I have trouble remembering these things. There's just too many. So uh, I, I look it up and I misread it. It said PlayStation Classic. I thought it was PlayStation Mini. So I, right before the stream, I hook up my PlayStation Mini and I have that all going. And then I go to open the game and it's not there. I'm like, what the hell? So I pull up the list again and it's PlayStation Classic. So I'm like, fuck. All right, I hurry up. I pull out my PlayStation 3. I get it plugged in. Thankfully, I, I have my consoles mostly like set up so I can easily get to them. Get it all plugged in and everything. Get it pulled up. Turn on the controller. Try to turn on the controller. It's dead. So I plug it in. As soon as I go to turn on the controller, everything just starts like it just starts clicking random buttons and shit and going everywhere. Like it's just fucking busted. So I'm like, what the hell am I going to do now? So I like I adjust it a little bit and it feels like it's working. But no, it just keeps clicking random things. So so I get ready to go to the game store. But on my way, like downstairs, putting on clothes and whatnot. I remember that I had a uh, PS2 controller to uh, to USB adapter. And the PlayStation 3, one of the many awesome things about the PlayStation 3, is that it supports USB game pads. So I'm like, fuck, okay, well, if I know where those are at, I can just do that. So I asked Mr. Noodle, she couldn't remember, but she said she thought she might know where they're at. So, like, I'm putting on clothes, getting ready to leave and shit. She's looking for that. And then right before I left, she found them. So, we're actually playing this PS3 game on a PS2 controller. <laughs> or, well, this PS1 game on the PS3, but using a PS2 controller. So, we're we're bridging every generation right now. Like, <laughs> we're just, we're a little bit all over the place. It's fucking stupid. But, it's okay. Because it's working. I think... Everything seems to be okay. So, hey. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just hoping everything's, like, cropped okay. I should check that just real quick. Let me pull up the uh, the cropping here. It should be okay, but, like, yeah. So, the top and bottom's not cropped at all. It'd be helpful if we had, like, a, a normal screen to look at, though. Oh, man, I hope I didn't lose y'all while I was trying to get everything set up. Rue, Nate, everybody else, I hope uh, <laughs> I hope I didn't lose you in all the madness. Oh. Yeah, so we had we had a baby shower to go to, and that's originally why I was late. Um, but then but then, yeah, everything kind of went to shit once I tried to actually set up for the stream. So, you know, that happened, too. Uh... Okay, so no, there, there's a lot of extra being cut off on the side here. Let me just uh, get that fixed. Keep going. Keep going. Holy shit, how much is there? Am I playing in, like, widescreen or something? Why is there so much? Sadly, I can't adjust any of the settings. The PlayStation 3, one of the nice things about it is that it lets you adjust the, the settings, right, for the game. Like, if you want smoothing on and, and what aspect ratio you want to play and shit like that. I can't actually adjust any of that. Because uh, my PlayStation 3 controller is not working. So, <laughs> since my PlayStation 3 controller is not working, I, uh, I'm i stuck with whatever we got, basically. So, yeah. It's going well. <laughs> I just need the game to stay on, like, one screen for a moment so I can adjust this. There we go. The memory card screen here should work. Okay, so we want to go... Holy shit, we want to go way down. We want to go down to like 1, 115 looks pretty good. 115 on that side too. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That's better. Oh boy. Okay. Close that. Uh, I don't remember the last time I played this, but apparently I was playing it at some point. Did we, did we do this on the podcast at one point or something? Maybe we did. I don't remember. Uh, hard mode, easy mode? Let's go with hard mode. Why not, man? Right? I mean, I don't want to play on easy mode. So we're going to do hard, I guess. Let's uh, unmute the game, too. That'd be... That'd probably be a good thing to do. It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. 
a city controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them, and that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions, but there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance, my last escape. Imagine that. Zombies in a zombie game. Raccoon City, man. Yes, so this is a PS1 game, but I don't know if you were here for my whole rant. The th it's a PS1 game that I'm playing on the PS3 using a PlayStation 2 controller. It's uh, kind of jank as fuck right now, but uh, <laughs> it seems to be working, so, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's all pre-rendered at the moment, cutscene shit. But yeah, it doesn't look bad, does it? It is the PlayStation 1 version still, though. Um... It's just like I own it through the PlayStation Classics. Uh, I bought it on the PS3, PSP, or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why I had so much trouble getting it all set up. Because I thought it was on my PlayStation 1 Mini. So that's what I originally set up. Which, you know, that that was fine. That went easily enough. But then, uh... But then it wasn't on there. So I was like, shit, it's on the PlayStation Classics. So I hook up my PS3. Get that all up and going. And then uh, plug in the controller because it's dead and it's not fucking working. So <laughs> then I, I got ready to leave to the store to buy a whole new controller because we have a game store only a couple minutes from me, thankfully. Um, and that's when I remembered that I have a uh, I actually have an adapter. So I, I had Noodle find that adapter for me real quick. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> PlayStation 1 game, PlayStation 3 console, PlayStation 2 controller. It's uh, <laughs> it's a thing. But it's, it's working, so <laughs> as long as it keeps working, I'm not going to complain. Holy shit. But yeah, I, uh, I actually had a couple save files on here. I don't really remember much of the game. I, I think I just played it for the Just One More Level podcast a while back. And that's where the save files came from. But I don't really remember, to be honest. But uh, whatever, we're starting from the beginning. On hard mode, which if I remember correctly, hard mode on Resident Evil 3 is just regular mode. Like, that's that that's their normal mode on Resident Evil 3, okay. so. We've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there. How dare you tell me to go back outside? I'm sorry about your daughter. But there isn't going to be any rescue. We have to get out of here. No! I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone! Game's a little quiet. I hope there's some subtitles. There's probably not. I'll go into the options and double check, but... Asshole, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's the the pause menu. I got to get reacquainted with the controls here. Uh, that's just monitor adjust. I assume it looks fine. Looks good enough to me. Sound, stereo, vibrations on. I have no idea if vibrations are going to work with this uh, <laughs> this adapter and everything that I got going on. I don't even know if 
the analog stick works. Yeah, okay, the analog stick does work. I mean, obviously, Resident Evil is still kind of a, uh, it's still a tank-based game, like Told a tank you. control game. I'm not leaving. So probably, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to talk, bro. Hold on. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know if, if, uh, analog controls are really worth it, but they are here. Circle opens up our menu. We have game instructions A. This explains about various actions, operations on map screen, and operations in the event scenes. Cool. Thanks, man. And then, yeah, put that away. I just want to get rid of this shit. So we're going to use it real quick. Instructions on the creation of bullets. This explains how to use the gunpowder and the reloading tool. Game instructions B. To create various ammunition, you need to use the reloading tool and gunpowder. This is a necessary item if you want to create different types of ammunition. By combining the gunpowder and reloading tool, various types of ammunition will be created. Uh, mix materials to create various types of ammunition. There are three types of basic gunpowders, A, B, and C. Please note that gunpowder C is created by mixing A and B types. You can create various kinds of bullets by mixing the different gunpowders. There are 13 different kinds of gunpowders in all. And that tells us how to make them. A is handgun, B is, yeah, I'm never going to remember all that. The important thing is CCC is Magnum. Uh, any of the, anything with C is grenade. And A is handgun, B is shotgun. That's, that's the important shit to remember. And we start with the reloading tool with Jill here. All important information. I always forget, like, how quiet Resident Evil games can be, man. I got the volume turned all the way up for the console, too, but it's a little low. Oh, well. We're, uh, we're embracing the jank today, obviously. Is there a run? Yes, square. Will you take the first aid spray? Uh, yeah, definitely. Any, uh, Resident Evil fans out there? I don't know, Rue, if you've ever played it. It seems like we may have lost Nate, so, uh, <laughs> I don't know if Nate's played the, the classic ones or not, but we got some more handgun bullets. That'll definitely come in handy. Um, I haven't, I've never, I've never finished Resident Evil 3, so I'm not 100% certain, but I believe it's a little more action-oriented, kind of like, uh, because, like, Resident Evil 1 was mostly about survival. Resident Evil 2 was a mix between survival and action, but definitely more action oriented um and then resident evil 3 i want to say also kind of embrace the action elements but i'm not 100 percent certain oh noodle you've played every resident evil game wow i'm so impressed you gonna give me all of the uh the hot tips and tricks then for the game make sure i don't get lost at any point i'd appreciate it <laughs> Now, I mean, I've played enough Resident Evil at this point that I, I should be okay with it. Hopefully. Hopefully. But, like, yeah. She totally lied. Oh, yeah, no. 100%. I don't think she's ever played a single Resident Evil game. Like, <laughs> at all. Uh, the knife. We're not gonna take the knife right now. We will store the reloading tool. Uh, the warehouse key I'm sure we're gonna end up needing. And... That's it, I guess. Oh, hold on. I want to make sure that there's nothing else in here. I don't think there is. Yeah, no, no, no. It shows us right there on the side. So that's the only things. We could take the knife with us, but, like, I don't know if I'm just bad with the knife or if the knife's useless, but it might as well be be useless to me. Um, does that not look like shit we can take? Okay, there it goes. Gunpowder A, so that's handgun bullets and the reloading tool. This is also A, so that's more handgun bullets. We don't need them right now, so I'll probably just store them. But it's still good to have. Sorry, I'm just clicking on everything because we don't want to miss shit, you know? Like, it's one thing about the Resident Evil games is that there is hidden shit absolutely everywhere. Although it does seem to be a little bit better in this game about, like, uh, so far at least, about there being little little icons in the world showing you where stuff is. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and do a, a starting save. Just so, like, if we do die or something, at least we don't have to restart from the very beginning. And we might as well just go ahead and save over. The other shit that I got here, I'm never going to go back to it. 
like I said before, I'm pretty sure that was just from the Just One More Level podcast that I that I did with uh, John with the Dorseman. Because we've covered, at this point on that podcast, we've covered Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, 0, and 4. We've done most of the Resident Evil franchise. And then on the Gaming Cog podcast, which is the other podcast that uh, I do from time to time, although that one doesn't come out nearly as often uh, with my brother, we've done Resident Evil 1 and 2, but on that one we actually complete games, so... I've played Resident Evil 1 and 2 way too many times, man. <laughs> we discard it, yes. Get rid of the key. We are done with it. We don't want it no more. It's trash. Put it in the trash. Okay. Um. I think, if I remember correctly, we're just trying to get to the police station at this point. If I remember correctly. You're sleeping or... Coloring Peppa Pig. Hmm. Imagine that. I can't believe you're going to, uh... Color a bunch of Peppa Pig pictures just to annoy your boss. Like... <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, no. Go away. Discord's also jank. Okay. We can we can hover. <laughs> Broken animation. Uh okay. I don't remember where all we're supposed to go. I do remember that like we explore around this area a bunch and then and then eventually we make it to the police station. Uh they're totally not dead, by the way. Now that one's dead, but this other one isn't dead either. If I remember correctly, though, we get... Jesus. Die! We get, uh... Something for... For going in that area. Okay, thankfully, it seems like we haven't really taken damage yet. No, no, no significant damage, at least. Uh, do you want to die, maybe, Zombro? Are you dead dead? Yes, it looks like it. Okay. Not pause. Circle. I think she will love them all, I'm sure. I'm sure she will. And good. We're already down to 12 ammo. It's going well. I think there's a secret down here. That's the only reason why I'm worried about killing all of them. Ah, freaking bastard. Get off me. I much prefer, like, as jank as these old games may have been... Um, I much prefer them to Resident Evil 4, to be honest, so, like, <laughs> the lighter oil? Yeah, okay, we'll take that. I should have, uh, stored the, the whatchamacallit, um, that we got, the, the ink ribbons. I should have put them in the locker, too, in the box while we were over there. There's the shotgun. I thought that's what we got for, for coming down here. How is our health, anyways? We're on yellow, so we're fine. We're okay. We need to decide, by the way, if there's two characters in this game that you can actually play through. I don't know for sure if there is or not, but if there is, we need to decide if we're playing through both to, to call the game finished or if we're just playing through one. I know for the podcast that I'm doing, I have to play both, but I don't know what we want to do for, for, for this, though. You think one is okay? Yeah, I mean, you get, like, 90% of the story by playing one character in the other Resident Evil games, at least. So I imagine if this game has two, I imagine it's the same way. But I'm not even 100% positive if it has two. You're emotionally tired where MC is physically hurt? Oh. <laughs> uh, box was upstairs. I'm just putting, like, the ink ribbon and shit in there. I should probably make some ammo with the gunpowder that we got, too, but I'm hoping we can uh, just make it through with the, the seven shotgun shots that we got and the one, or not one, like 12 handgun shots. What do we got left in the handgun? Oh, four. A total of four. Okay, you know what? Maybe <laughs> maybe we'll go ahead and do, we'll do one round of uh, ammo making real quick. Hey, thank you for the 2,000. Was it another 2,000? Well, however many it was. I don't 
it's not popping up for some reason. It's just the total. But anyways, regardless, thank you for the uh, the the point donation for the community stream there, Nate. I appreciate that, bud. Uh, yeah, let's grab not the knife. Put the knife back. And then Nate, while I got you here, I was curious: Have you played through the classic Resident Evil games or not? Or am I the only one here that's actually played through them? Combined with that, gives us 15 shells. That should be that should be enough for now. Then the lighter oil. I don't think we need the lighter oil right now. But maybe. Fuck, man. I really don't remember. I've only ever played the. At most, like, a quarter of the way through this game. And uh, even then, it's like. I, I don't remember a whole lot about it. Other than the fact that we're trying to get to the police station. I think, from the first game. <laughs> um, or not the first game, I'm sorry, from the second game. You're broke on retro points now, but... Ah, oh, thank you, Rue. Thank you as well, man. That puts us pretty damn close to the to the goal, though. Um, I forget exactly what I had the goal amount set to, but I do know that, uh... That we were already at 50% before... Oh, shit, Noodle did as well. I didn't even see Noodle there. 74% of the way through now? Damn, guys. I mean, like I said before, we do have until the end of March to to complete it, so don't worry. We're only on March 5th. Like, <laughs> 35,000 is the goal. Holy crap, guys. Y'all are insane. Wait, what? Oh, that's the total points that you each individually contributed. Okay. I was very confused. I was like, well, hold on. I only see 10,000 points. But no, that's Rue has donated 10,000. Noodle has donated 10,000. Nate has donated 6,000. Bam. Y'all are insane. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it, though. All right. Uh, well, we already went that way once. Let's go this way. One thing about Resident Evil 3 that I appreciate, and Resident Evil 2, for that matter, as well, whereas Resident Evil 1 on the GameCube didn't work this way, um, that dude's totally not dead. Like, he's going to come back to life, and he's going to try to eat my ankles. Oh, yep, there, there's another one. Told you. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Everybody's showing up now all of a sudden. Uh, just let me out of here, please. <laughs> uh, what's our health? Are we in red yet? We're not in red yet. We're fine still. Don't want to waste the one first aid spray that we got. Wrecked cars blocking the way. No shit. Can we blow up barrels? I don't remember. These guys, we can probably just run past. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, the first time... Or no, the second time that I played through Resident Evil 1 was the GameCube remake. And the GameCube remake, man, the thing about it is that it... Uh, it added new mechanics where, like, the, the zombies would come back to life as, like, a different version of zombies after a while and shit like that. And, bro, that was fucking rough. Like, I appreciate in 1, 2, and, and I'm pretty sure 3... That when you kill a zombie, it stays dead, at least. Like, <laughs> like I, I really, truly appreciate that. Because, man, that fucking sucked. And whenever they would come back, they would come back as more powerful versions of themselves, too. So, like, that just made matters even worse, you know? I, I like when I kill things for them to stay dead. That's, that's preferable, generally speaking. <laughs> Right. Green herbs, of course, for anybody who doesn't know, green herbs are a healing herb. You can mix one green herb with a red to fully heal yourself, or uh, three greens together to fully heal yourself. Then there's also blue, which heals like poison or, or something like that, but that doesn't come up all that often, so it's not as useful as the others, IMO. Gotta get used to the movement again in the game. Uh... Because you can, you can dodge a shit ton of zombies. I guess we'll go ahead and go in here. Or, no, we won't. Okay. We thought we were going to go ahead and go in there. I hear zombies somewhere. I mean, obviously, there's the one following us. But I feel like there's more right up ahead. Yep, there he is. Look at that. Also, sounds like someone's being eaten alive. So that's good. <laughs> we'll just, uh, we won't worry about him right now. The door to the boutique is locked. No, why is all the doors locked? Holy shit. One little zombie apocalypse and everyone's locking their doors, man. Like, come on. Uh, I want to see what's going on over here. But I also have this one on my ass. Go away. 
Go away, Zombro. I do actually appreciate, though, that there's, like, some zombies are quicker now. It just differentiates them a little bit, you know? So they're not all just the same thing. Ha. You may be quick, but you're still stupid. Ain't climbing up here. Two more green herbs. Very nice. We need to go back to the box soon, though, because we are pretty much out of uh, inventory space now. I don't think we can do anything else up here. I think it was just for the herbs. Yeah. Okay. And then maybe we should go ahead and switch over to the shotgun, especially since there's a group of them down there. I think that'd be a decent idea. If they're still chilling down here, which they are. So... Yup. <laughs> Hi, guys. I don't think they're actually dead. But they should be down enough that I can just get around them at least. That dude's definitely not dead. Like, he's going to come back to life. Yeah. It's locked. Yep, I got it. Locked. Understood. Can I go through this door, please? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Uh, any something locked to fence will be removed. Any bikes locked to fence will be removed. Well, that's just kind of rude. Why are you just going to take my bike off like that, man? I hear gunshots. Gunshots means human. That is, I forget his name, but that's a, a dude that we're, that we're following around, kind of. So uh, it's just... I think it's just there to kind of help us get to the end. I can make a little bit more inventory space if I were to combine all these greens with uh, each other now. But I'm going to wait to do that because, like, if you combine them with one red, you get a full heal. The same as three greens. So if we can just combine them with reds, then technically that's the better thing to do. Oh, that's a spitter. Those guys are easier to dodge, IMO. But... Um... They have like a little bit of range with that spit attack thing so umbrella announces a new miracle drug for anyone who doesn't know umbrella is kind of the cause of all of this mess it will make you look and feel 10 years younger might turn you into a zombie though too no <laughs> i mean it might i don't think so though it's more just you know don't 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 mess with any of their their labs stay away from that shit as much as possible Oh no! The dude's being eaten. Get away. Uh Got him. Hi dude, bro. Brad, hang in there. Oh Brad, Why Brad's his name. Someone doing something about this. I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. Way to be optimistic, he's Brad. The stars members. There's no escape. They could at least help, for real. I mean, they, they do try, some of them, but... This city is kind of fucked right now, <laughs> to be honest. Like, it's not in a great spot. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think we are going to have to go ahead and mix three greens together because we're out of inventory space. And I think this is something we can pick up, maybe? Clock tower postcard. Oh, it's just a postcard. Picture postcard of a clock tower. Very cool. The following explanation is printed on the backside. A landmark spot. St. Michael Clock Tower. You've taken the clock tower postcard. How fancy. Ooh, okay, yeah. We definitely want the ammunition. So, let's combine. We probably, probably won't find any other, uh... Red herbs for a little while anyways. I don't think they're, like, too far into the game when you start finding them, but generally speaking, you don't find them right in the beginning. 
Because, you know, it's a little more powerful being able to get the full heal with one, one red, one green like that. So they like to hold it back a little bit, you know. They gotta, they gotta tease you with the, with the death a little bit there, man. Get you all banged up before they uh, start throwing heals at you. Okay, so that brought us back out here. Let's keep going. That door was locked. Uh, that's where we just came from. So we've done all this shit over here, best I can remember. So we're going back this way now. Uh, go with you. So I don't remember where to go in the beginning of the game. We just got to kind of run around a little bit until we figure it out. We might be going back to where we started. I feel like that's something that we did at one point. What we're supposed to do. Because I, I seem to remember something happening to that guy. That we were locked up with. My memory is not 100% clear on it, I admit. But... I think that's a thing that happens. Maybe we figure out his fate. I mean, I, I, you can probably guess what his fate is exactly, but like, <laughs> also, hi, Zombro. Uh, I don't remember you being there before. Let's go ahead and reload our gun just so that's nice and full while we uh, don't mess with Zombro. Resident Evil was probably one of my I don't know. I have, like, a love-hate relationship with it. <laughs> I think it's because I've had to play it so many times that I kind of got worn out on it a, a, a couple times. But, like, I also do think the games are really good, especially the early games in the series. With their, with their fixed camera angles and tank controls and all that bullshit. Like, I honestly kind of wish they would have kept more of the survival elements from the original games but i mean everybody wanted you know action explosions booms yay so whatever i guess it's fine i suppose gotta appeal to the masses for some reason Nate, if you're still around, which ones do you think you have beaten? If any of them. I've... I mentioned it earlier, but I've played... 1, 2, 3, 4, and 0 are the only ones I've played. Out of those, I've beaten 1 probably like 4 or 5 times. Uh, <laughs> 3 of those being on... 2 or 3 of those being on both characters. And then 2, I've beaten... Just twice i think maybe only once i don't remember but yeah okay so maybe there isn't anything else we're doing in here okay back out we go i mean we had to drop off all that shit anyways we had way too much stuff in our inventory to be running around picking up more items so that's fair we had it we had to go here either way And then, do we have a map in this game? R1 and R2 both do that. L1, L2, L2. That's the map. Okay, so that's blocked off. That's all blocked off. This is all... Okay, so we haven't been that way yet. There's that corridor that we still need to go down. So we need to go out of here. What's the red? I think red is locked. Like, we don't have a way in there yet. So I guess we got to go left from here, go through, take a left, basically just follow the left wall all the way around, or if we cut down through there, we'll probably just go left all the way around. Okay. Keep going left. Kind of. Will that actually work with the way that we're like, the fixed camera angles could fuck things up for us, but <laughs> something like that. Uh... So yeah, no, I think it's I think it's that way I want to go, right? Not the way with with the Zombros. Oh god, they're running! No! no! Get off me! <laughs> okay, so now we're like hurt, hurt. So now we actually kind of need to heal. <laughs> I 
especially since there's like a lot of zombies around here. So the first aid spray, that will give us a full heal. Whenever you take damage, you uh, you become slower. And then, as you saw there, like once you get into the red, you get really, really fucking slow. Like, like too slow to really run away from a bunch of these dudes. What was the map button again? L2? You might actually fall asleep, Noodle. You're not allowed. Problem solved. I fixed it for you. Just, nope. <laughs> Can't do it. It's locked from the other side. Okay, so we couldn't get to that one. So the red is confirmed to be uh, locked doors. Which means there's probably a key or the way to get to the other side. Oh, that one said it was blocked from the other side, right? So yeah, probably a way to get to the other side. <laughs> I'm just joking, Noodle. If you want to take a nap, you can take a nap. Honestly, I'm pretty damn tired myself. If it weren't for the stream today, that's probably what I would be doing is napping. Although the weather's also really nice in our area right now, man. So, like, I strongly considered taking a uh, hike today. But, uh, no, I knew I had the, the stream already lined up. Plus, between, like, one, I want to beat this game because I haven't beaten this one yet. And two, my brother wanting to do the podcast episode on it. Um, between that those two things i was like nah i gotta i gotta do it okay so we can take a shortcut through here and it should be should be safe in here too if i remember correctly of course things can change man there could be zombies in here now when there weren't earlier you can't always expect shit to stay the same yeah see like i said <laughs> uh just because it was safe earlier doesn't mean it is now you bastards So I don't know if that was a good idea to do, but it's technically a shortcut, right? All right, now we just got to go up the stairs down here in the little the little mini inner city park looking thing here. Right? I mean, I guess it's not technically a park, but there's like <laughs> the kids shit there and whatnot. Is it down this way? No. Oh, well, that's okay. So that's a locked door. We can unlock it in case we have to go back again. Uh. But really what we want to do is try and get around you. Thank you. Hey, there we go. Okay. New area. What do we got? Uh, one locked door on the right and a whole lot of nothing else. Strange. Uh, I don't know if I like these sounds that are that I'm hearing right now either. <laughs> Hmm. Yep, that, that barricade looks like it's uh, about to come down there, man. I'm sure that will be fine. <laughs> the rope seems to be soaked with oil. Ah! Okay, so that's where we need the... Uh... That's where... Are they still coming? I think they're still coming. Holy shit. Okay. Nope, they're still alive. Anyways, I think that's what we needed the lighter and fucking oil for, so. Back to base we go, I guess. Ah, uh, bro. Can we make it around him? I think we can. It's fine. It's fine. Nope, nope, we can't. Okay. Ah, shit. And now we're hurt again. We're back down to yellow. There's a bunch of boxes here. Is there anything in them? No. They be empty. Uh, map. So we want to go the quickest way. Probably be to just go through here, right? Yeah. And then just go around. Sure, whatever. That'll work. Alright, so we want the... the uh, not the rope. The fucking lighter. The lighter fluid. And then we should probably go ahead and grab... Uh, the health pack too. Unless did I already? I don't think I did. You know what we need to buy? No, what's that noodle? What do we need to buy? Is it this door? I think it's this door. Peeps? Ah, no! Why peeps, man? Peeps are terrible. 
I don't understand the the love for for peeps. Like the the peep chicks and peep bunnies are cute. They're cute little characters, but they taste like trash. Like I just I'm not into them at all from a taste standpoint. Nope. Mm -mm. Do you not like Petunia? Like I said, the characters are cute. I like the little characters. Petunia is a giant peep bunny, by the way, for anybody that doesn't know. Not my thing, though. Like, they're... They're they're fine, I guess. Like, I can eat them if somebody was, like, holding a gun to my head. But <laughs> I don't think I would ever choose to, like, buy and eat peeps of my own accord, though. They're just not that great. Okay, hopefully since we, uh... Left that one area. I think that horde will be a little lessened now. Not to mention the fact that we blew up that barrel, so they should kind of be, uh, a couple of them should be dead, hopefully. We were a little too far away whenever we opened it up, or whenever we, like, shot at it. Um, so I didn't see, like, how well, <laughs> how much damage it did. I just kind of guessed on when to shoot. But they were definitely still shuffling around after we left, so they were not all dead. I kind of wish I would have remembered that we needed to do that. The the whole lighter oil thing, because that would have been, uh... Would have been convenient if I could have just fucking taken it with me. I don't remember how long ago it was that we played Resident Evil 3 on the podcast. It couldn't have been more than, like, a year. I, I want to say we did it just this past Halloween, but it might have been the one before. Shit, I don't know, man. Been a little while, that's for sure. Am I going the right way? Yeah, no. Shit. Yeah, we wanted to take the, the other way. Okay, go back. So there's like a, you know, not a shortcut per se, but a shorter path to get there. So we want to go down this way, go all the way through. Go all the way through the alley. And then it's not that door, is it? It is. Okay, it's this one like right here. I was kind of hoping my uh, brother or someone would show up for the stream today because I was curious uh, of how he's feeling about the game so far. I have to ask him about it next time I get a chance to talk to him. So he's the one that I did the Gaming Cog podcast with on the Resident Evil games, which, uh, in that one we played... Fuck, okay. Uh, Resident Evil 1, 2, 1 and 2, to completion. Okay, so shotgun to the face is always the answer. <laughs> Technically, like, if you wait until they get close enough and then aim up, you can do, uh, like, blow their heads clean off and shit like that, which would be handy, but, uh, I'm a chicken, so I don't need to use this right now. Wait, so do we just need to use the lighter? Was it already soaked in oil? Can't use the lighter without oil. Oh, do I need to put oil in the lighter? There we go. Shit, and then you still gotta use it, dumbass. There we go. I mean, this lets us get free, but at the same time, this is probably endangering other people. Because, like, if it was locked up, they probably locked it up because, you know, there's, like, people hiding in here and shit. It looks like there may be ammo or something back there. I'm sorry. Sorry, Zombro. I'm sure you were a real nice person once upon a time, but, uh... And you got a lot of health. Holy fuck. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> I'm out of ammo! I'm out of ammo! Uh, hold on. Switch. Weapon. I guess he wasn't close enough. No! God damn it, if I die because of you. Are you dead dead? You're dead dead. Oh man, we're so close to death now. Holy fuck. I can't believe I did that. Oh, and look what we get. <laughs> There's the red herbs that I was hoping for earlier. So there was two of them, like, really close by. A little bit hidden, I guess. 
I mean, I think it was probably good that we picked him up. Even though we did take some damage, like, oh well. The policemen are pressing forward. It's dated September 27th. We've taken photo A. His flesh was apparently bitten off or devoured. Yep, yep, I'd, I'd say that's that's what happened. All right. <laughs> um, Should we heal now? Probably. Let's go ahead and do it. Fuck. I already had to use two healing items and we're in the beginning of the game. This is, this is going well. Something does not sound good. Yep. Doggies. Ah, no, 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 no. Fuck. Let me in the door. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Uh, flaming dogs? Like, come on. That's creepy as fuck. <laughs> Ain't nobody need no flaming ass dogs. Okay. It's all right. Everything's okay. This is a safe area. We can go either direction, apparently. Um, is there any more ink ribbons over here? Usually, areas with, uh... Well, I guess not always, but sometimes areas with typewriters will have ink ribbons nearby, too. So I was kind of hoping for that, but no such luck this time, it would appear. I know the uh, easy mode gives you, like, extra weapons and, and all kinds of shit, really. Uh, I think we're done with the lighter for now. I'm going to go ahead and take a green herb to make a healing pot. And then we'll take a gunpowder B to make some ammo for the shotgun and then because i'm a baby we are going to go ahead and save <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna use the ink ribbon and we're going to save because yeah i don't want to die man oh we already did that dumbass uh combine that with that that's a full heal get back in the chest did you know originally in resident evil 1 they planned on each chest having its own unique inventory and not shared between all of the different chests. But they thought that ended up being too hard, so they changed it before the game came out. Like during playtests and whatnot, they had uh, complaints. Uh, no, don't overwrite. Yeah, well, yeah, never mind. Overwrite the dark room, that's fine. Did I skip this save last time? It makes me wonder. Maybe I was playing on easy when I played it before. I honestly don't remember. But I'm surprised that it would appear as though I completely skipped this save location the last time that I played. Which doesn't sound like the sort of thing I would uh, I would do, man. <laughs> I mean, I've played a fair bit of Resident Evil games. I feel like I'm not the worst at them, but still. I don't know if I'm uh, confident enough to just straight skip a save zone. If we can skip those dogs, we totally will. <laughs> so that... Uh, why is all of this in red? That's strange. Okay, well that door's locked. We probably need to go over there. I want to see what's down this other hallway. It's going to bug me if I don't. But I don't think there's any safe way around these dogs without just shooting them. I mean... Uh, maybe? Okay. Hold on. Yeah, we can't even get down there. Like, it shows the, the door being yellow, but... but yeah, I can't, I can't jump through the fire. The dogs can. I mean, good for them, but I can't. There was a light on the wall there. Maybe I can, like, turn on some sort of fire hydrant or something by pressing some buttons over there. But I, I don't remember anything of, of that sort. Okay, it doesn't appear as if there's anything we can do over here. But with that said, though, there might be some ammunition or something. It's a simple lock. So if we had a lock pick, we could probably get into that one, which uh, may be Brad. If, if this game does have two character play like the other ones do. Because, like, we started with the reloading tool so we can make more ammo for ourselves. Um, Brad may have started with a lockpick or something like that. 
I know lockpicks are a thing in these games, so like I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. But I'm not not positive though. What he starts with, if anything. And that's the big baddie of this game. Bye-bye, <laughs> mm. Brad. Yeah, so that's... Uh, this game's technically called Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. And uh, that's why. <laughs> Fight with the monster or enter the police station? Fight with the monster. Uh, I changed my mind. <laughs> Enter the police station. <laughs> so, and that's the other new thing that they added to this game was those those like uh, moments there where you have like life or death decisions to make, and uh, depending what you choose, it it can change the story a bit. And now we're in the rat raccoon police department, raccoon city police department. And oddly enough, this is where pretty much the entirety of the second game took place. It's also roughly how far I got in uh, when I was playing it before. Now, with that said, though, even though this is like the same location, the timing's a little bit different between... Resident Evil 2 and 3, and the, uh, like, what's blocked off, what's not blocked off, and all that has changed. So it's not as simple as just, like, if you played 2, you automatically know everything to do in 3 or anything like that. It's not that simple, sadly. As handy as that would be. <laughs> okay, so right now, the only way we can go is, uh, that, that away. The way with the, with the door. So we should probably go the way with the door, but no more ink ribbons either, man. Holy shit. Okay. This game is stingy. This terminal controls security systems. I could operate it if I had a stars card. Too bad you don't. Stars, by the way, is like special tactics and I don't remember what the hell it means exactly. But basically it's like they're their special special operatives. They're their elite unit, whatever the hell you want to call it. Oh, shit. There's an ad playing. We'll be right back, guys. I didn't realize it was ad time. Out of his moods. A brownie becomes a mission... Like, the kind you eat, right? <laughs> and then you have to feed the, the, the brownie honey to make it not rude? I'm confused. After much experimentation, I've concocted a potion that is lethal to the goblins and their ilk. I combine the burning nature of salt with acidic tomato sauce and vinegar and thicken it all up with oatmeal. <laughs> what the hell is this, man? Burning nature of salt. What does that mean? With acidic tomato sauce and vinegar, that sounds good, and thicken it all up with oatmeal. You know what? Honestly, could be tasty. I'm just saying. The hobgoblins are the spit monsters. They have bat noses. <laughs> sure. This all sounds completely legit, man. Hobgoblins with bat noses that spit in your eyes. Yep, I'm following along perfectly. <laughs> I need something stronger than a broomstick. Uh, you need something stronger than a broomstick. Yeah, probably. Too bad we can't bust it open. Alright, so we got quests, right? Let's see. A home for a brownie, and I trashed its home. This house has a brownie, and I trashed its home. Inside the dumbwaiter. I better find a new home for it. Find birdhouse, find bat. Okay, so a birdhouse and a bat. Can we go outside? Because outside seems like a pretty decent place for a birdhouse. Or is it still night? It looks day outside now, so if it's day outside, can we go exploring? You were going to suggest a dollhouse? That would work too. But it seems like the game is uh, dead set on us finding a birdhouse. So <laughs> I guess we have no choice. Is this like a point and click adventure? Just, you know, with a, a stick that you can swing around? That's kind of what it's feeling like. Also, I appreciate it doesn't freeze us up for the autosave. 
but kind of weird that it uh, stays on the screen for that long, you know? All right, where, oh, where would we find a birdhouse? We got a fairy fruit. Simon can lure tricky sprites by throwing fairy fruit. Use L1 to select fairy fruit while in ranged mode as Simon. So I presume that means we can use other characters of some sort at some point. I mean, you can still see, though. That's a plus. What? <laughs> you can see when they spit in your eyes, you can still see? I'm confused. Uh, It's kind of a pretty house. I actually, I'm a small house, man. I would. All right, guys. Sorry about the uh the random very quick jump to the ad break there. I uh did not realize that we were so close to the uh the forced ad time. That's totally my bad. I was uh too sucked into the game, I guess, not paying enough attention to <laughs> to my to my management screen over there. Alrighty though. Let's get back into it. Oh, Terrible negative five stars? Oh my lord. A neg five man of all things? That hurts. That hurts my soul, Nate. Can't believe you. <laughs> Is he? No, he's not dead. Uh, no, you're aiming at the wrong one, Jill. Aim at the one right in front of you. Holy fuck. Okay. So, well, we know there's another one over there now because Jill was trying to shoot at them. <laughs> Someone has made quite a mess in here. It's a waiting room by the reception desk. Yes, yes, I know this. I think, I'm not positive on the timeline of things, but I think this is technically taking place after Resident Evil 2. Um, but like, I don't know. It's weird because all of the, not all of the stuff is laid out the way that it was in Resident Evil 2 and shit like that. But like this guy already being dead, for instance, tells me that this is either after Resident Evil 2 or in the middle of. Appears to be holding something in his hand. What'd you miss? Nothing important, honestly. You missed a uh, impromptu ad break because uh, I wasn't paying enough attention to the management screen. And uh, you missed Nate being rude, but. <laughs> September 24th, there are reports of a theft in the municipal building before dawn. A jewel decorated clock at the main gate was damaged. Two of the 12 gems that are installed on the face of the clock are missing. Due to the lack of available officers at this time, I have no choice but to suspend the research of this case. Signed, Marvin Brigand. Report September 26th. Based upon an autopsy report of a 42-year-old restaurant owner, I have discovered that he has one of the missing gems. He apparently took shelter in the police department at about 10 a.m., where he was shot to death within 10 minutes of having developed the symptoms. Since the city is currently under martial law, we are forced to suspend this case. At this time, we'll keep the gem as evidence. Signed, Marvin Branagh. I've taken Marvin's report. Okay, so that's most likely just a hint for uh, whatever puzzles we're going to end up coming up to. Because that is like the other big thing about the Resident Evil games. We haven't seen so much of it yet. But uh, they're like action, adventure, survival, horror. Um, but they're also like puzzle games. And fuck, I'm about to get bit again. I can't get around these assholes. <laughs> If it makes you feel better, I'm struggling to find my wallet. I mean, it doesn't really make me feel better. <laughs> I'm sorry you're struggling to find your wallet, though, man. That sucks. Uh, yes, I will take the blue gem. And I guess I'll also go ahead and take the health pot. Because uh, we are damaged, damaged. Like, not just a little damaged, but like damage, damage. You know what I mean? It's locked with a simple lock. Again, though, we don't have the lock pick, so we can't do shit with it. I was expecting there to be a zombie around the corner here. I'm not going to lie. Number base locked. First digit number. Uh, uh, three. Uh, one. Five. Two. Nope. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I'm sure uh, if we haven't already, like, missed a hint for that, I'm sure there will be one somewhere. But we'll ignore that for now. Where's the last place you remember having your wallet, Nate? Ooh, hi, uh, lady. Um, you know, you seem really nice and all. So if you just want to, like, not try to eat me. <laughs> Damn you, lady. What did I just say? 
You too, sir. Oh my lord. There's so many of you. Go away. No! Damn it. Oh my lord. Okay. Safe room. <laughs> lord almighty, please. Save room. I feel like we don't have enough ammo to be killing all these dudes, but like we kind of need to start killing a few more of them, I think. Speaking of ammo, though, there we go. We just got a little bit more gunpowder. That'll come in handy. Is there any more ribbons around here, maybe? Uh, like, near this typewriter? Yes! Thank you. Oh, well, okay, but there's a chest back here, too, so that's fine. Uh, let's see. We will put back you, and you will keep one, because we're going to grab a red to mix with it. And... We'll grab the reloading tool to make more ammo. And then grab the red herb. Okay. Inventory time! Mix those together. Mix those together. Mix those together. And we should be good now. Half of this game, if you uh, weren't aware, is inventory management. But unlike games like uh, Final Fantasy IX, comes to comes to mind, man. The inventory management in that game is rough as fuck. <laughs> like, it's just, it's not as intuitive as Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3's inventory management is. And there's so fucking much of it that it, it gets to be a bit much pretty quickly. Um, thankfully, in this game, it's it's much more reasonable <laughs> than, than that one. So, like, yeah. Dark room save three. We will come back to put shit in the chest, but I imagine there will be a picture or something over here in the dark room. Nothing suspicious. Nothing suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I'm sure there's more to that song, but I don't actually know it. I just have heard uh, Mr. Noodle play it on more than one occasion, so <laughs> that's about all I know of it. I did not mean to put that on the knife. I actually wanted to combine those together. There we are. Okay. Uh, ooh, decision time. Do we fight these things out here? Or do we uh, just pretend like they don't exist? I think we're going to have to fight them. I really wish we had more ammo for the shotgun. Because obviously it's a much more powerful weapon than what we got in the pistol here. But, uh... But we just don't have the ammo for it. Like, you're not dead. You're a fast one, Mr. Grinch. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. I can't tell if I'm shooting you or not. Get off me, you bastard. Has nobody ever taught you how to treat a lady? Are you dead, dead? I can't tell if you're bleeding. You're too far away. Okay, yeah, I see the, I see the blood creeping out now. So now it should just be the lady off to the side there and like one zombie we can probably work with, you know, we can probably make our way around her. But I got a good feeling we're going to have to come back to this, uh, this chest that was down here to grab that jewel. So I wanted to clear out the main area at least a little bit there. Also, there's too many here for me to comfortably get around. Way too many here for me to comfortably get around. Okay. At least one more of you need to die. Holy shit. This would have been a good time for the shotgun. Oh, we're about dead. We're about dead. Okay, we need to use heal. Fuck. Already. Okay. Uh, after wasting so much ammo, I feel like fucking stupid for using the shotgun, but... But we needed to. Okay. Death to the non-believers. All right, uh, we can probably switch back to the pistol now, though. But yeah, I mean, look, we went from, you saw, we had, what, 50, 60 some shots, not counting, not counting what was in our gun. And now we have, it seems to be nailed from the other side, gross. Anyways, now we have, like, 20 or whatever. Like, that took a lot of fucking ammo. And we didn't even kill him until we pulled out the shotgun. Like, bruh. <laughs> Fucking rough. You know? Oh god, I fucked something up now. When I type in chat, it's backwards. What? How? <laughs> how, the, how the hell does that work? 
so in the original Resident Evil, or I'm sorry, in Resident Evil 2, not the original, there was a puzzle in this room. But I don't know if that's something that we can do now. Any case, someone help? It's not going right to left. <laughs> okay, so it must be, you must have accidentally enabled left to right. Um, so right click the, the text box, and then there should be a writing direction option. So where there's the send a message thing, right click that and then change it from left to right to right to left. Maybe. At least that's how it is in my web browser. I'm using Google Chrome. I don't know which web browser you're using, but with Google Chrome on my on my dashboard, I can right click the where I type the text and there's a writing direction option. And you can change that from left to right or right to left. Nope, not working. You're using Firefox. Uh, ye <laughs> I don't know how to help you then. <laughs> um, the only other thing I can think of is that maybe, yeah, yeah, I was going to say maybe Google it <laughs> because I'm sure there's some way to change it within Firefox. I just don't know. I haven't used Firefox in a long time, man. I've considered going back, but the password manager in Google is just kind of nice having it built in, not having to download LastPass or anything like that. Um, that and like it just, you know, has I've been using it for so long now. Maybe if I refresh, I mean, it's worth a shot, right? It won't hurt anything to refresh at least. Solid barricade has been set up here. Wait a second. So if I can't go that way and I can't go that way, then there must have been a puzzle back there somewhere that I missed, right? And this one is locked. You'll need the star's key to unlock it. It worked, oh, thank God. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Maybe one of the zombies that we killed has a star's card or something. Because I, I can't seem to push this. That was like the puzzle in Resident Evil 2. You were pushing one of these statues around. I don't remember if it was this statue or a different one, but we were pushing a statue around. We can't seem to do that here. Uh, we could maybe put the jewel in that dude's hand. Nailed from the other side, so nothing we can do there. I don't see anything on the floor. Oh, wait, you know what, though? There is one other place we could probably go. Down here, on the next floor down, there should be another door that we haven't tried to go through. Yep, yep, yep. I bet you that's where we need to go. Although, if I remember correctly, that room just leads back to the first area that we were in. This door right here. So, I don't know. But maybe there's a key item. Like, maybe a star's key. That could... That that could work. Uh, I hear zombies. Why is there always zombies? Ventilation shaft, it's dark inside. No shit. Can we maybe... No, I can't get around you. Okay, shotgun time. When all else fails, shotgun it out, man. I'm, I, I'm fairly certain this works somewhat realistically to a real shotgun, where the closer someone is, the more damage you do. So I'm trying to let them get as close as I can without feeling, you know, too, too scared. Okay. Uh, that one's not dead. That one's not dead. Kick him. Okay, he's dead now. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, we got a whole two shots left with the shotgun. That's that's good. And then we have one and a half clips left for the for the regular <laughs> for the regular gun. This is going well. This is this is going excellent. And uh, and we have no heals, so we need to be careful about how much damage we take. Oh, another set of ink ribbon. Yeah, we'll definitely take that. You have to have the ink ribbon for saving and if you haven't noticed. Looks like there was a recent accident here. Oh, that's nice. I do like uh, accidents. Not really. Uh, something on the counter, maybe? Will you take the stars card? Yes, we will. Is that our stars card? It looks kind of like our face on it. Are we a member of stars? Is Jill, Jill Valentine, I think is our name? I don't remember, to be honest. The story of Resident Evil games, like, it, it's, it's decent enough, like... But my memory is so shit that it doesn't matter. Like, I just don't remember. <laughs> I didn't like that sudden 
bang in the music there. I thought something was going on here. Uh, yes, we'll definitely take the shotgun shells. Thank you very much for that. There's nothing you can do with the fireplace. I mean, if I had my lighter, though, could I catch it on fire? I, I think that may have been a puzzle in the original Resident Evil 2. But... Uh, fuck if I remember for sure. Uh, what's that portrait? The one above the fireplace? I think it was Jesus. <laughs> I'm not 100% positive, but I think it might have been Jesus. Also, wasn't there somewhere that we needed a star's card? Oh, the security terminal. That's right. The security terminal. Um, we needed a star's card to do anything with it. So we can probably go back there now and, and do stuff. We can't go through that door. Okay. It's weird playing through, like, the same area that I played through in a previous game. Because I remember the layout somewhat for the area, you know? Because I spent a lot of time here in Resident Evil 2. But everything's different. Different doors are blocked off now. Um, different areas are, are just open. The puzzles are all different, obviously. It's kind of it's kind of confusing me a little bit, man. Not going to lie. Okay, so we're back in here now. I don't feel like we need to save just yet. I kind of want to just because I'm a baby, but I'm, gonna, I'm going to try and resist the temptation. Uh, it's only two shotgun shells. We're going to put it away. I'm probably going to regret that, but... And then we'll mix those up for health reasons. Don't need to use this right now. Uh, okay, I just wanted to see if there was like anything on it. Save always and often. Yeah, that's probably the smart thing to do, but I'm not a very smart guy, you see. <laughs> so... It's fine. What's the worst that could happen? It's not like we're gonna die or anything. Yeah, that lady's easy enough to get around. That lady's easy. <laughs> yeah, we know stream. Rude. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wasn't this one? No, that was the number combination. Shit, never mind. Not that one. That one's useless to me. Uh, Go through here. This is the office. And in here, there's a bunch of dudes that are trying to eat my face. But I have a shotgun now, so it should be fine. No, oh, there's, there's not even as many dudes as I remember. It's not all that bad. I feel like there's probably more shit in here that I missed. Like, like maybe the combination for that, that safe that I didn't get open. But, I don't know. It's fine. Let's just get out of here before we take more damage that we don't need to take. Alright, security terminal time. Although I guess I could have brought a little uh, ink ribbon with me to use this security terminal. Because I don't know what's going to happen after we do this. <laughs> Notice the star's personnel. Due to the emergency, the key to the star's office has been moved to the evidence room. Today's password for the safe is 4312. I feel like I was kind of close with my guess for that. Probably not, but... <laughs> 4312, okay. Well, that's... I was thinking more would happen than just being given a password, but uh, whatever. That works. Okay, so we got the, the code. The code's 4312, and presumably that'll give us the key, and the key we can use all the way upstairs to do something. What is that thing? I don't know, man. We'll find out, though, next time on Dragon Ball Z. No. Uh, it's talking about things that live rent-free in your head. That's what lives rent-free in my head. Like, I forget if it was last stream or the one before when we were talking about that. It's the next time on Dragon Ball Z. That's that's what lives rent-free in my head forever, man. Right up there with uh, M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. -E. Like, <laughs> th those are the things that are just replaying constantly in my head. Three, one, two, right? Hey. Will you take the emblem key? Yes, please. I feel like just because I've played Resident Evil games before and we haven't figured out exactly what to do with that 
gem that we got yet. I feel like we should take the gem upstairs with us, but I'm not going to. Only because the report said something about there being two of them, right? That we're missing. And we only have one so far, so... Fingers crossed we don't actually need it yet. Alright, uh... I don't think we'll need the stars card right now. Uh, we should make more pistol ammo if we're gonna be carrying around the ammo anyways. Although, you know what? No, I'd rather carry around the shotgun ammo than the pistol. And do we have any... No, we don't. Oh, we did want to try the lighter in that one room, though. Uh, hold on. I'm, I'm going to cheat. <laughs> Resident Evil 3 Fire Place. Uh, lighter. Is this the new Resident Evil 3, though, or is this the old one? It's used twice. Okay, so no, no, it's not used there then. Okay, so we can we can leave the lighter, just to save me from having to backtrack a little bit more. <laughs> uh, you know what I will do now though, because there could potentially be a, a boss fight or run in with uh, whatever the big baddie's name is. I will go ahead and save real quick before we leave. I don't want the knife. Okay, the knife is useless to me. I'm sure good players of the game could make good use of it. But I'm not a good player, and I can't make good use of it, I promise you. It's not going to go well if I try. We'll save over the darkroom one. Even though it counts how many times we save, so like, there's no, there's no <laughs> tricking the system there. You can't try to look cool by having less save files, you know? Like, oh, I beat Resident Evil with only one save. No, no, you didn't. It, it says right there, you saved 69 times. Like, come on. Speaking of 69, man. Uh, <laughs> I, like I said, I had a baby shower today. That's why I was, uh, not like my baby shower, but I was at a friend's baby shower. Uh, the Dorseman's baby shower, actually. Anyways, and, uh, while I was there, I learned a fun fact, man. The most babies ever born to one mother, like recorded at least, um, was 69. I almost picked that one just because, you know, nice, but... <laughs> I ended up picking like 40 something. So like, there's no way. That's that's too much of a coincidence for it to be 69, you know? Like, it can't be. Uh, but to my surprise, that's, yep, it was 69. 60 fucking nine. Like, could you imagine that? Having 69 children? That's fucking insane. Now, I'm assuming that 69 was like back in the day whenever people were just pumping kids out left and right, left and right, because, you know, Without the same health care and all the wars and everything back then, nobody really knew how many of their children were going to make it. So it was pretty common to just pump out as many kids as you could. Um, plus, I mean, whenever you're, you know, living on, let's say, a farm or something like that, having the extra hands around can help a lot. Uh, shit like that. So I'm assuming it had something to do with that is why there were so many fucking children. But yeah, like, holy shit, dude. Also, we've already gotten the grenade launcher, too. Like, they are just fucking giving us these weapons left and right, huh? Lady like, needs to go on some serious birth control? Yeah, no, I mean, I agree, man. I... Uh, f fuck yeah, I agree. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that's a ton. I don't... She had to have had, like, some triplets or, or like, uh, octo... Oct octuplets or whatever. It's like, for 60 fucking nine, you can only have one baby excusing you know, the, uh, the, the chance of having twins and, and, uh, triplets and so on and so forth. Excusing that, you can only have, like, one child every nine months at most. Like, to have fucking 69? Holy crap, man. Even on my Nana's day, she only had 11, 11, <laughs> 11 siblings, dude, and she did live on a farm. I know, like, don't get me wrong, 69 is still a fuck ton. But, like, that's the only thing I can think of, is that it was back then. I'm not the one that made the trivia, so obviously, like, I don't know how many, uh, how many, or when it was, or anything like that. I just heard the, the answer that I definitely got wrong on the, on the, on the little 
quiz thingy that we did for prizes. But like, yeah. Like, holy crap, dude. Crazy. Quintuplets? Maybe. I don't... I have no clue. Also, we just got the lockpick, so that's handy. Uh, yeah, we'll take some more handgun bullets. We'll do that. I realized I forgot to switch out the, uh... The handgun ammo with shotgun ammo now. I also admit that I've forgotten... Wesker is an asshole. Anyways, I've also realized that I've forgotten where the two doors were that I said, like, hey, if we had a lockpick, we could probably get into here. Uh, <laughs> I forget where those are, but... Oh, damn. Valentina Vasilev and her husband, Feodor v Vasilev, are alleged to hold the record for the most children of a couple... Or that a couple has produced. She gave birth to a total of 69 children, 16 pairs of twins, seven sets of triplets, and four sets of quadruplets between 1725 and 1765. A total of 27 births. 27 births. That's still insane. Like, even if she had only had one kid on each of those, that's still insane. Like, holy crap, man. Way too many. And for that luck to have 16 pairs of twins, seven sets of triplets, and four sets of quadruplets. Like, I know, like, don't they say that having twins and things like that kind of runs in families, right? Like, if, if you have one set of twins or whatever, you're more likely to have a second set of twins, etc. But, like, still, they're, that's insane. 27 births and they were all fucking more than one. Like... Are we sure this lady wasn't part some other animal where that's, like, common? <laughs> How the fuck does she not die? For real, man. To the boys of stars, I have some good news for you. From my brother, Joe. He has finalized the new handgun for official use. It is the M92F Star Special, but he calls it the Samurai Edge. It's the most balanced of the Kendo custom guns. Joe said, if you miss the targets with this, you should carry a teething ring instead of a gun in your holster. Joe's kind of an asshole. <laughs> Are we sure she was human? I'm not positive. I'm not. She doesn't sound human to me. <laughs> uh, the goods will be delivered along with their proper documentation. I'm sure you'll be surprised when you see what kind of excellent parts are used for the M920F. I know that you'll want to thank the good people who developed it. Sincerely, Robert Kendo of the Kendo Gun Shop. I've take. Why did I take the facts from Kendo? Also... Grenade launcher and uh, oh shit, what's going on? Hello? Hello? Come to anyone. Our platoon is cut off. No survivors found. This is Carlo. Send in support and immediately. Uh, okay. Don't know what that was about. But yeah, somebody's platoon was cut off or something and needs help. Like, I don't know where or anything, though. They didn't really uh, give us too much information to go off of, sadly. Okay, well, now that we got the lockpick... Because we've gone everywhere we can go that we know of outside of doors that can be lockpicked. Right? Because we didn't have a lockpick before to try to, to try to get in any of those areas. So, I guess now we just have to backtrack... And uh, start finding them. There was also there was somewhere else too, right? Like a like a little storage thing. Was it in the locker room? Maybe. Fuck, I don't remember. Okay, this door here was nailed shut or whatever, so we can't do anything with that. I'm assuming it's still the same. Yeah. Okay. Nothing there. Uh, that's good. I heard broken glass. That probably means there's new zombies or zombie dogs to deal with now. Because, of course, there will be. Yep. Fucking caught it. <laughs> God, that gave me a little tiny jump. I'm not going to lie. My, my heart skipped a, skipped a little bit of a beat there on that one. All right. Uh, well, we got we to gotta put away some stuff. We got way too much shit in our inventory. First aid spray. We don't need that right now because we have the other thing. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. I mean, the grenade launcher's 
more powerful than anything else. But... Uh... Fuck. But we have, like, no ammo for it. So I think I'm just gonna run around with this shit right now. And hope that's okay. It was way too quiet, honestly. Yeah. Fuck. We're gonna die. Uh, okay. I don't remember there being anything in here. We got in that already. Was there anything over here that we could use the lockpick on? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Uh, we might want to save, but nope. It'll be okay. I'm sure he won't be out here waiting for us or anything, right? Yeah! <laughs> like I said, totally fine. <laughs> oh, boy. See? It's all good, man. You just gotta, you just gotta, you just gotta fucking run away. And he... <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. I didn't realize he was gonna keep chasing us. Ah, no, get off me. Get, fuck. It's locked with a simple lock. Will you use the lockpick? Yeah, sure. We got time. We got time. That's fine. We'll use that real quick. <laughs> you take the gunpowder B? Yes. I will take the gunpowder B. Thank you, game. Uh... Ah, fucking rocket launcher? No, no, no. Go through the door, you dumbass. Holy fuck. Um, my heart. My heart can't take it. Okay, he's probably still chasing us. Somehow our condition is still fine, though. So we're just gonna... We're just gonna keep running. Run in, run in, and run in, run in. And here he comes. Now we're hurting a little bit. Uh, okay. Where do we go now? Uh... Because, yeah, this is a save room. Hopefully, the save room is still safe. And the other game, save rooms have always been safe. I don't know if that's true in this game or not, though. So far, it seems to be. Huh. Okay, um. Shit, dude. So, where do we go? I don't know. Maybe maybe once we go out here, it'll all become clear to us. <laughs> I kind of wish I would have brought a ink ribbon with me so I could save. Because now I want to fucking save. Like, uh, Okay, there's nowhere we can go here. We can try to explore a little bit, though, unless somebody shows up. Uh, by explore, I just mean click X constantly while running around to see if there's anything that we can <laughs> collect from all this rubble and shit. Also, we can look at the, the blood of our dear friend who is now missing. I'm sure that won't come back to bite us in the ass or anything. Uh, okay, keep pulling up the map. Okay, so uh, maybe it was that door, right? Because there's that save point there, which we might go ahead and make use of, actually. Um, just because we haven't saved and now I'm scared. But yeah, I think that was a simple door that we could go through. So, we're gonna go there, I think. Right after we make a save. Also, as cool as it was to return to the police station after playing through the entirety of the police station, Resident Evil 2, I'm glad that didn't make up too large of a section of the game. Also, the fucking dogs, man. I just want to go in the door. <laughs> How's our health? We're still in caution. We're okay. Alright, pull out. Uh. You know what? I'm going to put back this. Swap it out for that. Make more ammo. More, uh. Whatchamacallit ammo? Shotgun ammo? Where's my reloading tool? There it is. And then we're also going to grab the ink ribbons, please. And then combine you and you, combine you and you, and then save and put shit back in the chest, the chesty chest. Yes, we will use Le, Le Ink Ribbon. Uh, save over the top one. I think three saves should be enough of like a rotation, right? The other Resident Evil games, you get like graded for how well you do in the game, like how quickly you get through it, how uh, many saves you have and shit like that. 
I don't know if that's true in this game or not. I wouldn't be surprised if it is. I don't remember exactly what it does if you get like a high score. Other than like bragging rights, you know? Use Le Save Station. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. So we're going... Was it this way? No, 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 no. It was the other way now. I did s empty out the shit too, right? Yeah. How much ammo do we have? Cool. Okay. We've used the lockpick. Oh, man. I was uh, moving a bunch of TVs and shit at work. And I think that's what's got my back all fucked up, man. Like, it's not it's not that bad, but it's it's just, like, sore. Like, it feels like it needs cracked, honestly. Uh, that, there's a dude coming out of the wall. We're just gonna get away from there. <laughs> nope. I think that was... I don't remember what their real name was. It might be Liquor. But, like, they have these long-ass tongues. And, uh, they're, they're not good for you. So... <laughs> A fire hose is fixed with bolts. There's a fire hydrant. That is a hydrant. So maybe we could have used that one to put out the fire where the dogs were. I don't know if there's a secret over there or something, but um, regardless, it didn't seem like we could do anything with that one. There. Oh, I can see that. How big were the TVs? Uh, it, I mean, they were from the store when I was working the other day. Um, so... The smallest ones were like 40 inches. The biggest ones were 75 inches. They're all like modern TVs, at least. You know, at least it wasn't like the, the old school CRTs, the tube televisions. Because, oh, fuck that, dude. Like, <laughs> even a 32-inch uh, tube television weighs more than a fucking, you know, 65, 70-inch modern-day television. Is that a machine gun going off? Sounded like a machine gun going off. Sorry, I, I came back through here because I it looked for a moment like I may have forgotten a uh, a thing there. Um, hmm. <laughs> I hear footsteps. Oh, it's a dog. Hi, doggy. Ah, uh, there's two doggies. <laughs> okay, they're both dead. You know what? It'd probably be a decent idea if we're going to be dealing with dogs right now. Maybe we go ahead and switch back to the handgun. Those are decent sized ones. So yeah, no, don't get me wrong. They definitely are, but... Why hurt the doggos? Because they're zombie doggos. <laughs> Trust me, I don't want to kill the dogs. I had no choice. Man, I... Like, sure, it's probably not necessary to do anymore. But all these, like, pre-rendered backgrounds and stuff that were so popular on the PlayStation 1, I love them. Like, they look so good, man. Like, Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 8, for all the problems that I have with that game, Final Fantasy 9, Resident Evil, like, they all look fucking fantastic. And it's because of these pre-rendered backgrounds that they got. Also, this is an invincible fucking dog, apparently. Dog, just stay down, man. What are you doing? There we go. Holy shit. How much ammo did that take? We missed a couple shots, but that still took 10 shots. So it probably would have taken like eight had I not missed any. Holy hell, dude. Uh, you're dead, right? I think you're dead. I hope you're dead. Gunpowder B? Yes, we'll take gunpowder B. Thank you. Um, can we go down this manhole here? It just, it looks like... It's just very prominent. It, it seemed like we should be able to go down it or something. Don't go, don't make it harder. Honestly, though, man. Like, for real. Okay. Parking entrance. Ah, I never would have guessed. Thank you for clearing that up, game. Uh, I hear footsteps. I don't like hearing footsteps. It's another dog. <laughs> good. Good, good. Okay, so at this point, it's become clear to me that the pistol is honestly just useless at this point. Um, yep, okay, I, that's what I get. Jesus! I was like, maybe this dog will be different. Nope, <laughs> that dog definitely was not different. Uh, 
Okay, equip that, but also use that because we are in danger. Like, we're not even in orange caution. We're just in straight up danger. Okay. It seems to be charging the battery. Yep, that makes sense. Will you take the power cable? Yeah. I don't know what we're going to use that for. I'm sure it'll be handy for something. Otherwise, why the fuck would it give it to us, right? Is that another blue herb back there? It kind of looks like it, don't it? Um. Okay, so we probably can't go through this. Oh, because there's no power for it. I imagine that's probably what we'll end up using the power cable for then. Is that another blue herb? The gate is closed. Yes, I know, but I'm I'm trying to check the herb. Yes. Uh, no, I don't want to use them. We're not poisoned, right? Yeah, no. Okay. So that's a uh, uh I, I I guess that's one that we can only use and not collect, which does exist, like it, in the other games at least. Um, I'm pretty sure. Although, hey, there's a save point right here. Perfect. So why don't we drop off all these blue herbs? Blue herbs cure poison, if I remember correctly. But like. Right now, at least, we haven't come across any poison. And honestly, you don't tend to come across it too much. Uh, we'll leave the gunpowder for now. I don't really feel like messing with it. We'll leave the lockpick too. I might end up regretting that. And I feel like we're going to end up needing the power cable. So we'll, uh, we'll keep the power cable. We need some sort of heal. And then... We want more ammo. Do we have ammo? Yes. Let's take that and then refill our guns at least. And then... Should I make more ammo, shotgun ammo? Probably. I probably should, honestly. Save? Uh, I will. Don't worry. I'm definitely going to save. The thing is, like, you have to remember not to save too often in Resident Evil games because you do have a limited number of ink ribbons. And once you're out of ink ribbons, no more saving. Like, that's it. You cannot save anymore. Now, thankfully, the game is usually pretty generous with the ink ribbons. So you don't have to worry about it too, too much. But yeah. Uh, okay, then take the ink ribbon too. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> it's part of the whole survival horror thing, right? It makes the, uh, the risk of death larger because, like, if you if you run out of if you run around too scared saving all of the time and run out of ink ribbons then anytime you die you're just gonna go like way back right but yeah like i said it, it, it's pretty pretty generous with the ink ribbons usually like right there it just gave us more take the handgun bullets we will we'll put them in the chest probably because we don't have a whole lot of inventory space but we'll take them nonetheless Yes! Yes, I will use the ink ribbon. Uh, no. Go down to this alley. I like keeping one or two extra saves for these sort of things. Just in case I, like, royally fuck something up, we can go back a little bit at least. Okay, um, we'll keep the shotgun shells, but let's store the handgun so we have more inventory space. And then since we just got the power cable, we're probably going to need it. So we'll take that too. And we want to go out of this door, I suppose. I kind of like these door an uh, opening animations too. I realize that's to like hide saving. But like, I don't know. I'm kind of into it. Uh. Okay. We're surrounded by doggos. There's a door there. We can't seem to run that way. These dogs... Okay. Okay. Yep. I was going to say these dogs don't seem too bad. We can get around them fairly easy. <laughs> oh, it's all good. It's all good. If we can run around the doggos, we'll run around the doggos. Just hopefully we don't have to keep going through that same area over and over again. Because otherwise that's going to get a little bit awkward. Schedule for future construction works are written here. Oh, I can't read the schedule. Uh, why does that look like that's going to fall on me and kill me? Hey, we got a map. Okay, so we're here. There's a substation. Is that a power substation? Uh, that's the dark green is an area we can't get to, at least not right now. 
Because that's all blocked off there. It's blocked off there. Yeah, it seems like it's blocked off just about everywhere. We got a restaurant, a newspaper office, gas station, a trolley, and the substation. That we still need to get to at some point. It's a big-ass map. Okay. Taking the downtown map. Excellent. You like the door opening animations too? They're nice, man. It offers a little bit. Don't fucking just stand there. Okay, yep. Definitely don't just fucking stand there. Run the fuck away. <laughs> uh, hi. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, I don't have a battery. Shit, okay. Shotgun. We have no choice. We're gonna have to try to fight our way out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Shoot him. Shoot him with fire. Okay, are we poisoned? No, we're fine. Okay. Ooh. I don't remember if those things can poison or not, but, like, they might. <laughs> that was good enough for me. Is that a battery right there? It kind of looks like one, don't it? But it doesn't seem like we can pick it up. So. Ooh. You know what we should do, though? Reload. There we go. Okay, we got a second to breathe, we think. What do you got, a photo? Oh, gunpowder, eh? I mean, okay, we'll take it. Uh, is this a battery? No. There's this floating thing up there, like... We're definitely gonna do something with that, right? Like, why else would that floating thing be there? Can I shoot it? Equip the handgun. Hey! Oh, that was probably just a way to, like, deal with those guys. Without expending as much ammo. But, uh, oh well. <laughs> Too late now. Alright, and then I guess we just gotta go out this way. Can't seem to do anything up top. Right now, at least. Uh, okay, so we can get to the restaurant by going right or by going through this alley. I think we'll go around right, though, and go that way. And there's a save point right over there, too, which is nice. Uh, There's somebody fighting here. Maybe we will go the short way or not. Are you still alive? You don't look like you're bleeding, which makes me think you're still alive. I mean, you're also twitching. Oh, no, okay, you're bleeding. You're bleeding. Maybe we're okay. Uh, green herbs? Yes, please. Take all the herbs. Although, that leaves us, like, no inventory space left, which is a bit of a problem. Place your wisdom here. There's a hollow space for something to be put in. Okay, so that's obviously going to be a puzzle. The future is in our hands. You can't carry any more items. Well, that's fucking nice. <laughs> Where was that save point again? <laughs> uh, there's also this plaque here. Does it say anything? We must channel our knowledge to the future, for it shall always show us our greatest destiny. Raccoon City Mayor Michael Warren. Uh, a wisdom tooth, maybe? Maybe. I'm assuming it's going to be some sort of book that we had to place in it, though, because it looked kind of like a book, a book-ish cutout, right? It's kind of what it looked like. Uh, cutscene in the restaurant? I mean, it was, like, glowing a pretty color on the map, so I assume something's gonna happen in here. Oh, or not. Uh, SL game, I don't know, two. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, shit, there's, like, stuff in here. Okay, well, we don't have any, we don't have any inventory space. We can't really do anything in here at the moment. Besides, maybe look at this city guide. Ooh, a book would be better, yeah. Dear citizens, thanks to kind and generous people of Umbrella Inc. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> this is a peaceful and friendly city. Yeah, how's that How's that working out for you now, eh? The vast donations from Umbe Umbrella Inc. have been used for welfare work, the construction of public utilities, and to help maintain public peace. 
1992, it was my fifth year as mayor of our beautiful city. It was then that through many donations and hard work, our city was able to rebuild the municipal building, create a state-of-the-art hospital. In honor of these fine accomplishments, I was awarded with a grand statue that same year. The statue rests in the municipal building. I came to the city as an engineer more than 35 years ago. I made constructions to the electric systems and to the installation of the cable car. I pledge to follow the tradition of this fine city and will devote my life to its prosperity. Mayor of the city, Michael Warren. Hmm. I don't know how much I trust this Michael guy, to be honest. The lamp is lit. Cool. <laughs> I hear a noise, and anytime I hear a noise, it's a little bit scary. Uh, heavy looking cover. There's a hole to hook something onto it. Okay. So that's probably somewhere we can go later. All right. We need to remember to come back here because and to the restaurant after the save point. Because there was, uh, I believe it was gunpowder. It looked like gunpowder. Oh, and okay. We need to bring the lockpick with us too, apparently. So lockpick. And just space for so oh, shit. Hi. Of course, it would be infested with fucking zombies. No, I didn't want the menu. I wanted the map. Uh, okay, yeah, we want to go down this way. Oh, look at that! More fucking zombies. <laughs> I just, I just want to save, guys. Just let me save. Okay. Although, with it being a little more open in here, we might be able to get some use out of the handgun. Uh, <laughs> because, um, like, we're not being, we're not being cornered as much, so. Okay, I don't think, uh, maybe we don't need the power cable right now. I don't know. I'm gonna swap this out for the handgun ammo. We're gonna try to get some use out of it while we still can. And then we need to take the lockpick with us as well. Then we're, we're going to save. If there's ink ribbons over here, we're going to save. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's any, sadly. What's this? The rusted crank. I don't think the crank is what they wanted for the restaurant. No, because it said like something could hook in, right? So I don't think it was the crank that we wanted for there. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the crank here too. We can always come back and grab it if we need to. But actually, guys, it is getting really close to time for the next break. Uh, we only got a few minutes, so it seems like an excellent time while we're in this little safe zone to take a uh, few minute break. So I'm going to run downstairs, use the restroom, stretch a little bit, drink all that good stuff. I suggest you all do the same if you need to. And we'll be back in like three to five minutes for some more Resident Evil goodness, man. Honestly, like just give me a kitchen and a bedroom and a bathroom. That's that's all I need to be to be happy. Ball bearings. Jared can use ball bearings with his slingshot. Use L1 to select ball bearings while in slingshot mode. These are all things we don't have, so not particularly Mallory. useful. Mallory. Not now, Jared. I don't want to Oh, the autosave, bro. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about that a moment ago, huh? That was a thing that happened. She's kind of a dick, a, a, a ditch. <laughs> She's kind of a dick, isn't she? Oh, I mean, okay. I think I may have found where we can find a birdhouse at, in this uh, island of decrepit birdhouses over here. Hello, a you're idea, a birdhouse. But I can't reach. Smack it! What do you mean you can't reach it? It's like three inches above your head. Climb! There's like dirt and stone right in front of you. Just step up there, man. Can't I like jump somehow? Oh, really? That's all the jumping you can do? Alright, fine. Whatever. Don't pick the birdhouse up then. Uh, can you look at the birdhouse at least? Uh, maybe I could. Or maybe you could just take the one right in front of you. Also, who was making weird noises? Oh, hey, here's the uh, the toadstool ring. That's uh, interesting. I still don't really understand that. I'm, I'm assuming it has something to do with, like, fairy lore or something. That uh, they can't pass through a ring of toadstool. Kind of like salt and spirits are a thing. I don't know. I'm just guessing. 
fairy slash fae, yeah. Makes sense, I suppose. I mean, not really, but neither does salt to spirits, so whatever. <laughs> we are just finding ball bearings everywhere, aren't we? I want to know what irresponsible fool is just walking around dropping Ooh, ball bear. bearings all over the, the ground. Duct tape. Who needs it? Duct tape, who needs it? Uh, everybody? Duct tape is actually, like, the most amazing thing in the world. Or maybe that, like, uh, gorilla tape or, or, I don't know, what's it called? Alligator tape? Crocodile tape? Whatever the kids use these days. <laughs> I don't know what's, what's hip with the kids. Is duct tape still cool? Rue says duct tape is cool. That's good enough for me. <laughs> you need duct tape right now? Actually, see? Who doesn't need duct tape, man? Duct tape for the win. I almost said FTW because I I I'm a millennial. <laughs> uh, what do you uh, What do you need duct tape for, Nate? For some reason, I have the vision of a pair of shoes completely wrapped in duct tape. I'm not sure why, but that's what I that's what I see in my head. Also, I think we've gone all the way around the grounds, and I don't see any any birdhouses. Five more bits. Thank you so much, Noodle. Our little uh, bit jar down there in the bottom is, I think, officially full at this point. Gen Z, 97 baby, so I was raised like a millennial. I mean, it depends who you ask, you know. Some people would put you in the, the millennial category. My favorite definition of millennial versus Gen Z is uh, if you can vividly remember the 9-11 attack on uh, the Twin Towers... And all of the, the controversy and whatnot surrounding it, then that puts you in the millennial category. That's a, that was a description that I heard, like a, 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 a solid line that splits the two generations. And I've kind of stuck with that one ever since. It made sense to me and I just kind of figured that's uh, that was good enough. You're going to get a quick shower, Noodle? Okay, that's fine, love. You're prepping this bookshelf and that's fair. You were rocking beat up shoes for the longest time with hot glue and all. I've honestly, I've never had to do that. I've had some beaten up shoes in my life, but I've never had to duct tape or glue them together. You were three, so you do not. But you do remember VCR tapes and Blockbuster? Does that count? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'll put you in with Nate's category there, man, as a lenial. <laughs> You're right on the edge of that. You're also a lenial because you can remember being mad because the news interrupted Strawberry Shortcake. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious, man. I was in uh, I was in elementary school. I, I do remember it pretty vividly. We got taken out of school and uh, we got moved to a different location because. Uh... Hello. Oh, boy. OK. Let me make sure everything's up and running. Okay. Hello again. We are back. Let's uh, unmute the game, maybe usually nice whenever you're playing a game to not have it uh be muted <laughs> what do we get ah shotgun shells yes we'll definitely take that thank goodness for that um oh to save or to not save that is the question that's a tough one honestly i don't know how many we have six we have six ink ribbons i'm gonna i'm gonna do it gonna go ahead and save Once we get down to, like, three, that's when I'll start worrying about it. But with six, I think... I think we're okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> Shopping district? Ooh. Very fancy. Okay. Let's put this shit back. And then... We'll head on out. We also... We do have... I see we have, what, one red herb... And then a bunch of green. Okay, so if we need to make a, another healing pot, we can, which is nice. <coughs> Excuse me. 
But we're set right now though. We don't need we don't need to make one like right this moment or anything. So that's good. Uh okay. Shoot you. And then any friendos that come waltz waltzing on over here. Like this bro. Can you like stagger at least? So yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Go ahead, get back up. I think if you shoot them while they're down, I think it does a tiny bit more damage. But I could be making that up. Also, this dude's like really close. Fucking go back. Uh you're not bleeding. I think yeah, you're bleeding now, okay. Might as well reload. Combine those. It's sad when like the humans are easier to take care of than the other stuff. Hi! Uh man, I hate when the <laughs> that's the one thing about fixed camera angle games is whenever the enemies can chase you around the different camera angles, right? Cause then it's like, bruh. Like <laughs> Like I can't see if these dudes are coming for me or not. Uh, do you want to die, maybe? Both of you? Is that one still alive? No, I think... I think they're all dead. Okay. Oh, see, like I said, the handgun. Useful. Right now. Probably not for too long, though. <laughs> Might as well make use of it while we can. Nothing special? Uh, you're nothing special, game. God, can you believe that? So rude, these... these... these text boxes. Okay, simple lock. Let's do that first. And, oh, hey, guess what? There's the hook. Hey, what's up, Nate? Happy to see you back, man. Very rude. I know, man. Saying we're not special and shit. Can't believe these people. Uh, Before we open that up, though, we saw around the corner. Hopefully, there's no, like, enemies that have spawned in now or anything. But, uh, we did see some, some, some stuff, some ammo stuff or whatever. I think that's what these are, right? Yeah. Gunpowder A. I mean, not the best gunpowder, but hey, we can always use it to mix better shit later. And I think that's it. You, uh, you out dashing tonight or just running errands, man? Uh, okay. Heavy looking cover. There's a hole to hook something onto. Yes. And I believe that's what the fire hook's for, right? Uh, What's that? Okay, you're not a zombie. Calm down, lady. I'm no zombie. My name's I... Carlos. Corporal Carlos? Corporal Umbrella's biohazard countermeasure force. Scared the shit What's out of me. What's your name? Jill. Did you just say you belong to Umbrella's army? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians. But the mission went bad the minute we landed. Uh... Oh! Hi, you! Find me. Uh... Uh... Run into the basement or hide inside the kitchen? I mean, run into the basement. <laughs> this way. Fucking, let's go. <laughs> Just get the fuck out. I do not want to deal with him. Bouncing between this and a call. Oh, good. Now the basement's filling with water. Uh, okay, well, I'm assuming we only have a limited time to do shit now. His chest has been ripped into and torn apart. Oh, that's good. Let's open up the map. What do we got? Are there locked doors? No, okay. This seems like the only door that we can possibly go into. Maybe it's a freezer? Okay, well, are you gonna let me in the freezer or no? Holy shit. Are we dead? Follow me. Yep, okay. I mean I guess <laughs> I guess there's nothing we could really do down there. Uh I, I holy fuck. Uh yeah, I mean, look, the thing is, dude, like, you can fight him all you want. I know you can't kill him yet. His name is literally in the game. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis is the full name for this game. So, like, bruh, he ain't gonna die that easy. 
Why did Umbrella send your team here? Our mission is to rescue the civilians. How kind of you. Considering Umbrella caused all this in the first place, those liars! She's got a point, bro. Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. No time for talking. If you can believe me, then join us. Think about it. Uh. Hmm. Would it be dumb to go back in there? <laughs> I mean, I guess we can get to the save point by going the other way around, too. But, like, I want to explore that basement more. I feel like there's more to do down there, right? Like, there's no way the basement, the whole point of it was just to go in and come back out. Like, there has to be more. Oh. Hey. This music probably means that bad shit's coming. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's just fucking run for now. We can come back to that later. Uh, get unstuck, Joe, you dumbass. Holy fuck, dude. <sighs> my heart. My heart can't take it. Um... Are we safe here? This isn't even where I wanted to go. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Let's go back around. I'm sure he won't be there to, to fucking murder us when we come through this door, right? Okay, well, the music seems to have calmed down, so maybe... Maybe we're safe? Question mark? The whole being chased by Nemesis thing in this game the whole time you're running around is a nice touch. Like, that's a really nice touch for the game. I can't deny that. Alright, so we can go back down here now. And then... Drop off all the shit that we picked up and then we're going back. <laughs> we're going back to the restaurant, guys. You can't stop me. Constant danger. Exactly, yeah. It keeps the suspense, you know? Alright, all of this gunpowder A we don't need now. Uh, and I don't think we need the lockpick anymore. We'll keep a hold of the 21 sh shells that we have, though. Um, and then, what was the, the mixing that we can do again? So, we have... Yeah, yeah, I just want the list. A and C is grenade flame rounds. Okay, so we need C to do grenade stuff. We don't have any C yet, so it's yeah, pointless to us. We can't we can't do anything. Wait, what? If you combine a certain type of gunpowder with grenade rounds, special types of grenade rounds will be created. Yeah, okay. If you repeatedly create the same kind of ammunition, your skill will be improved and you will be able to create more powerful ammunition. Oh, okay. So if we create like a bunch of type A, then we can have more type A. Or, like, better type A, I guess. Which, I mean, sounds handy, but I feel like it would be better kept to make grenade rounds with, honestly. Just the grenade launcher is a significantly more powerful weapon. Back we go. You think we're gonna get fucked? <laughs> ah, shit! Jesus, fuck. Okay. <laughs> uh... Will you push the switch? Yes. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, yes, go down the ladder. <laughs> that was good. That was good. All right. Um, hopefully he can't come down here. I mean, that ladder looks a little small for him. I don't know. Now can we go in the freezer? I know it's a freezer. Like, what's the point of having the drain down here if there's nothing to do down here? There's got to be something, right? Like, what am I missing, man? I'm clicking X on, like, everything. It's a freezer. No shit. I get that. I guess, I guess there really is nothing to do in here, man. It's just a flooded basement. Okay. Well. 
back up we go. <laughs> I, had to, I had to take a breath for a second, man. I had to just, mm, mm, yup. Get ready to fucking run. This isn't really the way I run to run. I was hoping to go the other direction, I'll be honest. But you know what? Anything that gets us the fuck out of here, I guess is good. And then we'll just do the loop again. It's fine. It's fine. I'm assuming he's gonna come out of there again like he did last time, so... Just keep fucking running. Uh... Yeah, I can already hear him. This alley seems safe, though, so we should be safe in here, I think. And we've killed everybody, question mark, in here? Is that like a map or something? No. Well. And what was the point of that drain button? That's gonna bug the fuck out of me, I ain't gonna lie. Alright, so I guess the next place to go is the newspaper office. Uh... Hopefully there's a save point or something inside there. Unless, I mean, I guess we can just kind of use this place as a hub. Like, just keep coming back here. Over and over again. We didn't pick anything up right now. Okay. Onward! You would think, like, with a grenade launcher, we would be able to take care of Nemesis or something. But, like, I ain't even gonna try, man. Uh, okay. So he's coming for us. We know that door's locked, so I don't see any point in going over there. We're just gonna have to book it for the newspaper office and hope that's a safe zone. We can always come back out here and uh, try to search a little more thoroughly. No, fingers fucking crossed that this is a safe zone, man. We're so screwed if it's not. First aid spray, yes, please, thank you. We'll always accept heals. Uh, okay. Can we push it? No. We don't seem to be able to do anything with this. Is this a green herb garden? You know what I mean? Doesn't look like it. I mean, it looks like it, but it doesn't look like we can do anything with it. Photo B. A close-up shot of a zombie. It says scoop on the backside. Oh, uh, yep. That's a scoop, all right. Hey, guys. There's zombies here. Who would have thunk it? Fireproof shutter is down. Okay, is there any way to open it? See, it looks like we need to push this over there. Maybe I just couldn't push it from the side that I was trying to push it on. Uh, game? There we go. Okay. <laughs> it's like, it's like we got to be able to do something in here, man. There we go. Get to the panel. And then... There's no power going to the switchboard. Will you turn on the power? Yep. And now what? Can we open this? Well, no shit, it's down. I want to open it. Yes, please. It's just a wee fire. Nothing to worry about. And hey, who knows? Oh, I thought Nemesis was coming through that door. <laughs> I was going to say, who knows? Maybe Nemesis will be scared of fire. But uh, <laughs> I think I'm more scared of Nemesis than uh, he ever will be of fire. Uh, hmm. Now that the door is gone, can I go in there? No. Okay. Burn. Burn it all. And guess we're going through the door. I see nowhere else to go or anything else to do. Are we... Yeah, okay. Only one way to go, it seems. Hey, magazine rack. Can, uh, can we maybe find something cool to read? Just live out the rest of our days here in this, this room? Narrow path can be seen from the window. I don't suppose I can take that narrow path, can I? If shit hits the fan. Okay. Sparkling thing on the desk. Pick it up. Hey, the green gem. Okay. So that's two gem. Oh, hi. 
Oh hi, I'm that guy. Built so fly with a silk bow tie. I don't remember the rest of that song. George Watts, he's the shit though. You went down a little too easy, honestly. Okay, there's gotta be more in here. I saw, I think, a picture that I could pick up on one of those desks over there. So we can probably do something with that. It's our health. We're in yellow caution, so not too bad at the moment. And then anything over here? Picture or something? Photo C. The police have been destroyed. That's that's it. That's photo C, guys. <laughs> okay. Reporter's memo. At last, I have found the evidence I need to prove that the cannibal disease is indeed happening in the city. One man actually ate people to death. He was like a savage animal tearing away a new flesh. It was completely disgusting. I have heard rumors that many people are also suffering from this disease now. However, the causes of the disease is not yet known. Is this another mystery of the present disease? I will have to check on it. They have placed Raccoon City under martial law because of the cannibal disease. I have lost contact with the media outside of the city, but I won't give up. As a journalist, I won't keep my eyes shut and walk away. I have a duty to the people and my profession. I don't think the disease has spread nationwide yet. I believe that this city holds the key to its creation and cure. In fact, I'm sure of it. The military has set up blockade around the city to keep people from escaping and spreading the disease. Most of the citizens have either died or have come in contact with the disease. I know that it is the right decision to quarantine the city, but I can't help but pity myself. If I am infected or eaten, it doesn't matter. My fate is already sealed. All I have left is my journalism. I won't give up until I solve the mystery of this deadly disease. I have just discovered that the disease is not spread through the air, but by some other means. You have taken the reporter's memo. Well, I mean, we already know all about that. We know what's up. Uh, Files on bizarre incidents. Okay, so nothing else we can do in here. I guess we just gotta take that gem now. And then maybe that one area. Oh, hi. Oh, yep. Get up, Jill. <laughs> uh, caution, first aid spray. And then please turn around, Jill. Open the damn door. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. We're fine. It says fine. We're fine. <laughs> Just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> At least he's not, like, chasing after us quickly. Especially because I have not yet gotten used to the tank controls. <laughs> uh, okay. Reload the handgun. I don't think the handgun's gonna do much for... Go back. No, not that, you dumbass. I don't think the handgun's gonna do much against Nemesis, but, like, it's the only thing we got. Can we explore this area now? Or is he gonna show up and murder us again? Or try to murder us again? It's locked from the other side. Okay, so there's absolutely nothing we can do there except for find the other way in. Oh, hi! I was just asking about you, boo. <laughs> uh, operation hours are from 9 to 17. Awesome. The gate is automatically closed after hours. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Does that mean we can do something with the clock? A clock that is not functioning. Okay, so that's where we put the two gems. Uh, use. And then we'll get the other one and bring it back over here, though. It seems that this is not enough to make this device work. Yeah. I get that. Holy shit. Hi, guy. How are you? Uh, fuck. We're fine, Rue. We're fine. <laughs> Everything is A-OK. -okay. Hey, that's another Watsy song. Strong as an O-A-K? -O uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So, shit. What do we need to do? There's still something that we need to do, again, with that one area. Because, like, we could pick up that, that dial thingy and whatnot. So there's definitely still something we're missing from over there. But there's that... But, like, we found a puzzle that we can definitely do right now. So I feel like we should just do that one. How far away was... 
the other area. It was just, like, right in here, right? You know what? We are gonna go back. We're gonna go back and at least pick up that thing that, uh, that we couldn't pick up because our inventory was full. Where, like, the knowledge and the tears and stuff that it was talking about. Also, hi! Yeah, see, we don't want to go that way right now anyways because, uh, <laughs> big beastie boy <laughs> is, is chasing us the fuck down. Uh, I think it was through here. Again, I call bullshit. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, was it in here? Or... No, 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 no. It was on the... Oh! Jesus! Fuck! Nemesis, what are you doing? Do you have to chase us everywhere, man? <laughs> you know, you're allowed to take a day off. You can just relax for a bit. Um, hi, doggos. Uh, doggos, we're friend. Uh, go in the door, Jill. Jill and doors do not get along too well. Okay, this is a whole nother save zone. This isn't where we want to be, is it? I feel like we want to be... No, that's that room there. Was it here? I think it was here, but he's chasing us through here, so maybe we can't do that right now. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because this all just leads back... to some other bullshit, right? Fuck, I don't remember where it's at. I think it is back the way we just came from, though. Shit. We got this. It's fine. Everything's fine. Doggos are friends now. Uh, Beastie Boy's probably in here. So we just gotta fucking run for it. Oh, hi, you're back. Well, you know what? I'll take you over Nemesis, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> honestly, if we can only choose between the two, you or Nemesis, I'll be your friend any day. Okay, maybe it was down here. Yeah, okay, it was right there. Okay. So, this. We could pick up this. The future is in our hands. We take the bronze compass. That's what it's called. Oh. Huh. Bronze made compass. It says future in my hand on it. Ow, ow. Uh. Okay. So never mind. I guess we can't do anything here right now. Huh. This must be something for later then. Yes, yes, I know there's a hollow space where the compass used to be. Can you put it back? So... Okay, so when the compass is gone, it spits out a bunch of water. Place your wisdom here. Yeah, that's definitely some sort of book or something. Huh. Yep, I don't know that one, man. I don't know what we're doing there. Hmm. Okay, well, there's only one thing we can do, I guess, and it's go back to this door here. So let's, uh... Let's hope Mr. Beastie Boy is done chasing us now. And we can safely go through... The... the... Alleyway? Hopefully he's fucked off and found some other toy to play with. I was, I'm just, I was waiting for him to just bust through that door as we were running up to it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Please and thank you. Yes. Okay. We seem safe. I know I shouldn't be saying that because that's just asking for him to show back up. But like, so far so good. A gem is missing from the hour plate. Yes. No, I, I know game. Game. I know. Thank you. Just let me let me use the gem. Okay, so we can we can enter City Hall. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know what that's gonna do for us, but uh, 
we can do it now, so... In we go. Uh, this looks too nice. Okay, there is some broken shit up ahead. That, actually, it's a little bit comforting, like... <laughs> Door stuck from the other side and won't open. Like when things look too pristine, that just means that something really bad's gonna happen. Okay, we can go right or left. Right looks iffy. It takes us to the gas station. It says the gas station's locked right now, anyways. Although I guess it could just be a simple lock and then we'd be able to get into it. So fuck it, yeah. I mean, we should always go the wrong way first, or what we think the wrong way is first, right? So. Let's go to the gas station. It's that mindset that's gonna end up getting me fucking killed, I know, but... Screw it, we gotta try. And maybe there's- maybe there's some good loot around here or something, man. Some, like, ammo for the grenade launcher or something? Anything? Absolutely nothing, that's fine too. The shutter's down, what's this? Oh, is this the crank? That's the crank! Okay, fuck. Well, shit. Now we gotta go all the way back. <laughs> all the way back to the save zone, grab the crank, and come back again. This is the one thing. The one thing in the uh, original trilogy Resident Evil games that gets to me sometimes. Is you do end up having to do a lot of backtracking. Because unless you've played the game before and have it memorized, you just don't know what the hell you need and when. Like, generally speaking, whenever you pick something up, you're going to need it soon. Like, within the next puzzle or two, but you never fucking know for real, though. It's always just a guess, like... Alright, pick up the crank, we'll take it back to the gas station, and then we'll get, uh, I don't know, god mode or something, right? It's probably a good time to save, too, even though... Saving worries me because we haven't gotten any more save ribbons in quite a while. But I don't want to have to redo all the shit that we've done. Not that we've actually done all that much, to be honest. Like, if you really think about it, we've only actually done a couple things, right? Like, we've, uh, we went to the newspaper section. And then we learned that we can't do anything in the other section that we know of. And that's it. Like, that's all we actually did. So I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world if we died and had to start back over here from here. But like I said, I'm not trying to get the highest rank in the world. And I'm not going to worry too much about saving ribbons until... Until, uh... We get down to three. Which we're getting close to, but haven't yet. Should we take the lockpick with us? I don't know. I feel like... I feel like, uh, you know, a gas station, there would be a decent chance of there being simple locks that could be picked. But at the same time, it's a gas station. There might be shit that we're going to want to loot. And carrying something extra means we might have to make an extra trip. But then, of course, if we need the lock pick and don't have it, then we're going to end up having to make an extra trip anyways. I think what I'm going to do is just leave the extra handgun bullets and take it with us. You say do it, take it with us? Yeah, I think we will. I think that's probably... I think that's the best choice. We'll take it with us. We'll leave the handgun bullets. Hopefully there won't be too many zombies in the gas station. And if there is, we still have the shotgun too. So like, we can, we can use that. I'm trying to see what that says. It's like arcane shops, arcade shops. I can't quite make out what that door says every time we go through it. And, and honestly, like, so far, at least, the backtracking in this game is nothing compared to my uh, playthrough of Resident Evil 1 on the GameCube. Because I originally played Resident Evil 1 when I was, like, a, a... I don't know, somewhere around 16 to 18, something like that sort of age, you know? And then I just played it on the GameCube a few years ago. So, like, I didn't remember any of the puzzles or anything. 
and they changed it. They added more puzzles and uh, made some of the sections harder anyways. So, like, it was completely different. Ah, what? What? I can't turn it without... What kind of trash is that? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, well... Hmm. I guess uh, this is just an area we'll have to come back to then. It's a machine that supplies the gasoline? No shit. Okay. Well, alright, whatever. We were right. That's where the, the crank went, but we can't actually do anything with it yet. Can't do it without some help. So we're going to need, what, like a pair of pliers or something? Something to grab onto the, the thing with, I guess? Oh man, now I kind of wish we had some more ammo, though. So we're going into a new area, and Lord knows what the fuck we're gonna find in here. Uh, you're not dead. You're definitely not dead. Oh. You're gonna come back to life. You're all gonna come back to life and try to eat me. See what I say. Oh, nope, you're coming back to life too. I thought maybe you were dead. At least they're slow. That's blocked off. Can't do anything there. Okay. Just fucking ignore them. It's fine. Just, <laughs> they don't exist to us right now. We need to save our ammo in case we come across something worse. Uh, Can we, can we examine that? No. That statue seems like it could be important. Lonsdale Yard. Something Corporation. Big West Corporation. I can't really read what all that says. Okay. Ooh, green herbs, though. Definitely take some green herbs. Thank you. Maybe. If you can pick them up. Yes, we will take. And... Yes, we will take. No bikes. <laughs> I love how there's a no bike sign, and then there's literally a bike just chilling right there. Like... <laughs> That's fucking great, dude. That's fucking great. Oh. Uh, Zombros. Looks like a big group of Zombros, so we should probably actually switch back over to the shotgun. Hopefully the one behind us doesn't come alive. Okay, and then wait, wait, shoot. Uh, handgun. Make smart use of the ammo. I think everyone's dead. Oh, more shotgun shells. Fuck yeah, dude. Thank you kindly. Oh, there was a barrel. I guess we probably could have just shot the barrel. But, oh well. Strong barrica barricade is blocking the way. Fair. Uh, climb, Jill. Thank you. I hear a zombie. I do not see Le Zombie. But I hear him. There he is. Uh, if it's just one, we'll try to kind of ignore him. And then a couple ground bros. Uh, a barrel on the ground. Can we, like, push it or anything? Uh, Jill, these dudes are gonna come try to eat your legs. Now nah, it doesn't seem like we can do anything with it. I'm assuming this one's locked? No, it must have been the other side that's locked. Never mind. Ah, uh, fuck, are we gonna need the power cord? Uh, what are these zombies doing? I'm assuming their legs are, like, uh, broke off or something. Mechanics memo. I know that you're intimidated by your new job, Kevin. I, uh, thought I was Jill. So let me tell you how to make sure that you and your trains get along just fine. You see, these carriages were made in 1968 and then imported from Europe. Sometimes they get rickety, but they still work because they are simple, stubborn, and strong. We can always depend on them, just like Kevin. <laughs> if they have a bad day and are malfunctioning, you'll need to take a good look at their circuits for any trouble. Once you discover what's wrong, you'll be able to fix it easily. 
I'm sure that you'll be able to avoid those nasty little malfunctions if you check the parts every day. These old trains will surely have problems if you don't remember to check them out. Just remember that if you need to replace anything, you have to choose a suitable part. When I say suitable, I mean that even if you can't find another original part, you'd better find something that works good enough. <laughs> Even with regard to oil, you must always prepare good quality oil for these trains. Never forget, Kevin, that a man may betray others, but a machine won't. Hmm. Taking the mechanics memo? Thanks. Oh, look, there's a bad power cable. <clears throat> and the fuse is broken. And the mixed oil has been used up. Okay, so we need all kinds of shit for this. We need You're a fuse. We need oil. Team, right? I just and a power cable. Teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Ugh. Hey, is someone wounded back there? I mean... She's right in front of you, or he's right in front of you. What do you mean? Is there someone wounded back there? Like, <laughs> I don't trust this old guy? Yeah, you probably shouldn't. Uh... Hi, wounded guy. Or girl. You are very wounded. Oh. They're this looks coming. bad. Get ready. Uh, uh, fire. Fire. Stay together. Calm down. You're safe now. Everything is going to be okay. Hmm. Okay. So I feel like that was, yeah, I feel like that was an actual warning, like a little bit of foreshadowing. And not so much just a, like, a, you know, a flash to some other terrible thing going on or whatever. So, Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. No, we can't trust her. And what, I can trust you? Because I don't think so. Why? But, Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Fine. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. Oh, just have some faith. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people, let's get moving. Jill, put this on. Uh, what is it? Oh, does that give me extra inventory space? Like a tactical gear thing or something? Uh, menu? Load? Please tell me the game didn't freeze. Oh, thank God. Fuck, man, I was scared. <laughs> that took way too long to load, but it did. It gave us too long, uh, or too long. It gave us two more inventory slots. Excellent. Oh boy. Okay. That really worried the hell out of me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Thank I mean I guess we did save not long before getting here, so it wouldn't have been the end of the world, but still, like Will you take the wrench? Oh, hey, wrench! Okay. So the wrench probably gets us in the gas station. And the gas station I'm assuming will have the oil, right? So Okay. Uh, we know there's zombies out here. Is there anything I need to do? My health is fine. I have ammo. I could go ahead and reload the shotgun, though. And let's go. Okay, so we have the power cable. I think we know where to get the oil from. 
So now all we gotta do is find a fuse. Which maybe will also be at the gas station? I feel like the fuse would be in the restaurant area. I just, the fact that that basement is there and there's nothing we can do really bugs me. Like, there's got to be something to do down there, right? There's no way it's just a, a semi-safe zone from, from Nemesis. There, there's absolutely got to be more to it than that. Hmm. I don't know, though. Uh, okay, Zombro is in here now. Oh, yeah. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Sudden loud noises scare me. God damn it. Oh, my lord. Okay, you know what? We're going to have to come through here again. So, as much as I don't want to use up ammo... Um... I think we're going to have to. Because, like, we're, we're definitely going to have to come through here at least one more time. If not more. So, these zombies kind of need to go away. Are you dead dead? I did hit you with the shotgun once. Yeah, you seem like it. Okay. Oh, and those ones are already dead dead now, too. Okay, okay. That wasn't too bad, then. One shotgun shell and two shots with the pistol. I can live with that. We... Uh, as much as I don't want to, we are going to go ahead and use the first aid spray. We probably could take one more hit before we were, like, critically wounded. But, like... Not worth, not worth risking, you know? Nope, nope. Not at all. I'm just waiting for a nemesis to show up again, because that, I feel like, is going to happen any fucking moment now. And I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> Alright, I'm assuming you and the wrench go together. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I mean, couldn't you just attach the wrench to it and then, like, spin it around in a circle? Do you really have to do, like, one little crank at a time there, Jill? Oh, hey, what's up, Nate? Happy to see you back, man. Handgun. Uh, weird that we still have the wrench. Maybe we'll end up using it for something else? I don't know. Uh, again? It's too peaceful. It should never be this peaceful. There was that, like, parking garage area that we were in at one point, too, wasn't there? Jill! Hmm. That's not hey, a creepy ass the sound. the zombies are getting restless. I know. I can hear them. What's going on? Uh, just, just ignore them, Jill. <laughs> just, uh, focus on what you're here for. An untidy counter? Okay. That's helpful, Jill. Thank you. Uh, is that Jill! ammo stuff? What's wrong? They're coming. They must have sniffed us out. They know we're here. Must have sniffed us out. I didn't know they were fucking hey, dogs. Any objections to my playing hero this time? What are you doing? What is this, a kindergarten class? Carlos! You know, I feel like the game wants me to have some sort of feelings for Carlos, but like, I finding it really hard to care. <laughs> Will you operate the electronic lock? Yes. Uh. Uh, I don't know what we're trying to do. Are we trying to get just like 
like one letter on at a time? Nope. Maybe, maybe C needs to be the one that's on now? I... I don't, I thought we had to get them all turned off. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't actually know what the goal is here now. Okay, so it's not B. Um... So if I hit B... Okay, so D worked. Oh, A's lit up. Okay, so we, we probably have to get the one that's lit up to be left on. That would make sense. Uh, Turn on A. There we go. There we go. Hey, I think we did it. Hey, look at that, man. Too easy. <laughs> I mean, I kind of, I kind of lost it there for for a moment, but we we're supposed to trust a guy we've only seen twice. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Perfectly normal. Uh, nothing seems to be useful here. Okay, so we're a little short on ammo. Ooh. Uh, kaboom. Okay, well, guess there's nothing else useful in here. <laughs> Bye-bye, gas station. <laughs> Alright, so we still need to find... Carlos! A, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, though, right? A fuse. No. Hmm. Really? Ah, he's alive! I'm not he's dead fine! He's fine. Are you okay? Yep, you dead. <laughs> Will be, I'm sure, but not yet. Uh, that hero stuff is harder than it looks. Yeah, I didn't know if we were playing or not, Nate, because of uh, the the one guy not being there. But uh, if everybody else is still playing, of course I'll be playing. Okay, was that noise just because the gas station is burning down behind us? Or... Oh, oh no. Uh, Carlos? I, I think Carlos might be dead now. Bye bye, Carlos. <laughs> oh no, he made it out. Look at that. Ouch, my ears are ringing. <laughs> we both should be deaf by now. Okay. Oh my god. I'm gonna scrounge up some equipment. There might not be any at our destination. <laughs> Ouch. My ears. I feel like we should be deaf by now. Bruh. The voice acting in the Resident Evil games may be the best part about them. Nothing compares to Resident Evil 1, though. Like, they have gotten better since the first game. But they're still obviously very rough. <laughs> Honestly, though, it leads... It, it lends itself to the, to the fucking... Uh... To the corniness, the cheesiness of it, though, a little bit, you know what I mean? Oh, hi. I'm glad we had the shotgun out and ready. And I imagine maybe, just an idea, but maybe that's where we need to go now for the, uh, for the fuse? Are you dead? Waiting for the, the blood. Okay. How are we for ammo? We're doing okay, actually. Our inventory space is very low, though. Uh, okay, so there's three green things there. Oh, this is the statue of that dude that they were talking about. A bronze statue of Raccoon City Mayor Michael Warren. There's a switch. Will you push it? Sure. It's holding some... Oh, that's the book! Bruh. Yes, we'll take the bronze book. Okay. So we know what to do with the book. We gotta put it in the thing. I'm assuming by putting the book in the thing, we'll be able to take the other thing, right? That sounds right. <laughs> Put the book in the thing to take the thing, to do the thing. Austin said he still plans on running the game, even though Rug is occupied with D2. Yeah, okay. Like I said, that's fine with me, man. Of course I'll play. Uh, so back to the save zone, and... Man, I want to save, because I feel like we actually have done some stuff this time. But we only have about 20 minutes left to stream. 
and I don't want to, uh, I don't want to have to end the stream and not be able to save. So I guess we're gonna we're gonna have to hold off uh, for just a for another blah, blah, for a little bit longer on the saving. We'll be okay though. I think I think it's gonna be all right. All right, store the herbs. Uh, I guess store the wrench and oil and the lockpick. So maybe maybe we'll be okay. Maybe that's all. Let's take the shotgun shells and the handgun, but the handgun just to get a full clip. Combine these and then put the handgun shells back. So we're not carrying extra shit. And then is there anything else that we might need? I don't think so. It's a little weird that we still have the wrench. But like, I don't think we're gonna need it to do whatever. Oh, not that, the wrench. I'm just trying to tidy up my inventory a little bit. The inventory system of these classic Resident Evil games is always trash. Like, <laughs> you can, of course, if you really want to, spend the time to keep it all cleaned up, but like, I don't feel like taking the time to do that, especially not on stream. Maybe I'll do that whenever we end the stream. Like, before I save, maybe I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll straighten all that up. Before I save, but after we... Oh, good, these guys are alive again. Excellent. I was kind of hoping that you would stay dead once you were killed. Um, you're not dead, are you? Nope, you're not. So slow to turn around. Oh, we can we can shoulder check people? I honestly didn't know we could do that. That's pretty neat. Oh, good. We're almost out of ammo, too. Oh my god, dude, why are you all back alive again? Son of a bitch. That is not something that used to happen in Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3. I'm very upset. Okay, well. Uh, kind of fucked our, our handgun ammunition up a little bit there. Hopefully, that'll be okay. Rug start on D2 at noon, if it's still win as planned. So wait, are you saying that he might be done in time? Or just the fact that he's been playing literally all day? I just think it's really shitty that his clan told him that, like, either be there or you're fucking out, bro. Like, you know what I mean? That's, like, one of the many reasons why I don't play games like that with other people. Like, I just can't. That's fucking, that's ridiculous. Uh, Rugman is a guy that we play D&D with. Uh, D2 is Destiny 2. That's all. <laughs> and what's clan? Clan is like in, in multiplayer games, right? You have clans, groups of people that play together to do objectives and shit like that. Uh, mostly used for like MMOs and, and whatnot. Will you take the future compass? Yes. And then... Okay. The future is in our hands. Wait, what? So by doing that, we're now able to leave with the future compass. Place your wisdom here. Take the bronze book? Sure. And I'm assuming that's going to make them start doing their thing. Right, okay. Oh, wait a second. Reckon City Mayor. Um, is that flooding into the restaurant basement, maybe? Right, because the restaurant basement was flooding. So maybe the water that is now electrified is flooding into here? I really hope that what's-his-name isn't in here still. Uh... Seems to be a switch for the drain. Okay, we, we already turned on the drain. Bruh, I have no idea what to do right now. <laughs> uh, I'm seriously, like, if I can't figure out what to do down here this time, I'm just going to Google it. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna Google it. Hold on. <laughs> restaurant. Hit the plus. Restaurant. Uh, basement. Resident Evil 3. Restaurant basement. The restaurant basement is an area of downtown Raccoon City. It's part of the Restaurant Grill 13. Uh, flooded basement. Okay. Joe and Carlos can get to the basement from the restaurant. Yep. Hide into the basement. After that, rupture pipes through the blow. Propane tanks on the kitchen will flood the area. We can escape through the ventilation hole if they return to the restaurant. Wait. Oh! We could have went through the ventilation hole to escape instead of climbing back upstairs. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, all right. So it's here for like a different, a different scenario, basically. Like if, if things had played out differently in the game, I also know that uh, my brother, who I do the Gaming Cog podcast with, who uh, is also playing through the game right now, he told me that he didn't find the grenade launcher where I found it at. He actually found a different gun there. So some things in the game are just different on different playthroughs. I don't know. I'm assuming it's what choices you make. Um, uh, and that's like that determines kind of what happens with what like whether like us finding the stuff where we found it or or not finding it where we found it etc cetera, etc cetera. but i i don't know that's just a guess though man like i i have no idea because like there were other things i didn't read it too much because i probably will if there is a second character i'll have to do another playthrough of this whether it's on stream off stream whatever doesn't matter um, so I didn't want to read too far into it to get spoiled on anything. Is there anything we need to take? Handgun ammo. We need some handgun ammo. At least a refill. I don't think we're going to run it around or run around with it, but we're at least going to refill and then put it back. Important part is he did. He also explained that Rick's a bit... I didn't say that. <laughs> I definitely did not say that. I like Rugman. <laughs> He can be a little flaky sometimes as far as showing up for things, but I like the guy. So, okay. So the water run for knowledge to flow. For knowledge to flow. Knowledge. So, I mean, newspaper knowledge, right? Like, newspapers are kind of smart things. There's this whole substation area that we still haven't gotten to either. And this. Oh, the substation's probably where the fuse is. That would make sense, at least. You know, because substations, electricity, all that. Hi, crows. Uh, I don't like crows. <laughs> crows are bleh. <laughs> IDK, Flaky's a bad thing. No, it is. Like, don't get me wrong. It is a problem that he needs to work on. I'm just saying. It's not like he's the worst dude in the world or something. I didn't say I didn't like him. Doesn't change the fact he a B when it comes to D&D. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so I mean, it doesn't seem like that did anything here unless it's upstairs, but... I don't see how water flowing would have changed anything upstairs. So, going to assume this is not where we needed to go. Ah, oh, what a classic sound. You know something I actually want to do, like legit want to do in real life? I want to befriend a bunch of crows, man. Just train them to bring me money and, and trinkets and things. I read this story online. I... Granted, I read this story online, so, like, whether it's true or not, who fucking knows. But I read this story online of this lady who channeled her inner goth and made a bunch of crow friends by feeding them after reading that, like, you could do that, right? And so he, uh, she, sorry, um, befriended them, and they started following her around and everything, and she lives in this community with mostly older people. 
And like that seemed to be okay. They didn't really seem to mind or anything. Everybody thought it was kind of cute. But it ended up becoming a bit of an issue whenever she had a visitor over, one of the elderly people from the town. And uh, this is during COVID. So the elderly person was like in the yard, sitting in the yard, and she was on the porch, and they were having a, a conversation with each other. Right? And uh, that's all fine and dandy. But then all of a sudden, the crows started like dive bombing the fucking person. That was like, oh, you heard that story too? Yeah, like started fucking dive bombing them, dude. And so, uh, like, obviously that's a bit of an issue. So they, like, call some people for advice for help or whatever. And uh, they suggest that everybody in the town starts feeding them. So that the crows grow a good relationship with, with everybody, right? And so they do. And then the cute part about it was, like, the crows end up being friends with everybody. But then during the winter... An elderly gentleman went outside to do whatever he was doing. And, uh... Oh, good. Zombies. Um... And he fell. Like, he tripped on the... Fell on the ice. Which, you know, that's bad, especially for an older gentleman. But the neighbors were able to come outside and find him on the, uh... Tr on the ground, on the ice, because the crows were making such a fuss that somebody came outside... To, to check to see what the hell was going on. And when they did, they saw the older gentleman on the ground. Possibly saving his life. Like, that's that's awesome, bro. Um, okay, so we got... We got the battery, right? And if I remember correctly, the battery now... That room with the, the weird claw, liquor people, whatever the hell they're called... Um, we needed a battery to do anything there. So we need to go back there now with this... And to get through that door, and I'm assuming by getting through that door, we'll be able to go to the substation and do whatever we need to do there. The problem is, we only got 10 minutes left. And I don't think we're going to be able to do all that in 10 minutes. So, <laughs> but you know what? I kind of want to at the same time. I don't fucking know, man. Let's, uh, I don't think we're going to need the book. Put the book back. Uh, we do definitely need more handgun ammo, though, so let me pick that up. Do it? Okay, we'll do it. <laughs> that's all That's all the convincing I needed. Let's go. <laughs> Done. Dusted. We'll go. <laughs> I was gonna say, though, like, I don't have to pick Noodle up tonight. She had a uh, day off because of the baby shower that we had to go to, so she had it requested off. Um... So I don't have to go pick her up or anything. So if I'm a few minutes over, it's not the end of the world. I don't want to be, like, super late, but a few minutes, that'll be fine. No trouble. So we'll do the substation thing or, or whatever. We'll go to the next save point, whether it ends up being this one that we have to come back to, or if we find one after that section, whatever, we'll go to the next save point. And then once we get through there, holy fuck... Uh, I don't like, uh, can you, like, not, maybe, <laughs> stand in front of me? <laughs> uh, do we use the battery here? Oh, that's ammo. No, use the battery. Uh, hit the button! Hit the button! Fuck! Fuck, no! Get off me! You f Dude, what the fuck was that? I do not want to make out with you. <laughs> I, d I don't even know you, bro. God! <laughs> that was creepy as shit. What the fuck is that? That is what we call a creepazoid. <laughs> uh, I hear stuff shuffling around. I don't like hearing stuff shuffling around. What do we got? Handgun bullets? I mean, of course we'll take it. We're never gonna say no to free ammo. Get that reload going too. Uh, okay. Two zombies? You know what? Three zombies. Time for the shotgun. And one shot. Uh, two shot. Also, apparently there was an explosive barrel somewhere. And one more. Anybody that's left, hopefully I can deal with with the handgun. Are you bleeding? You're bleeding. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. I think we're okay. What? 
have we got here? Nothing but the substation. Okay. That's fine. Uh, anything to pick up? So this door was... Oh, it must have been the other door that was locked. I thought it was this one. Ooh, red herb. Please and thank you. Yes. Oh, two red herbs. Holy hell. This game is so generous. Honestly, and on hard mode at that. Um, You know what? Honestly, with the... I'm thinking there's only one character for Resident Evil 3. I'm not sure if that's true or not. But I, it makes me wonder, like... Because I mentioned my brother ha had a different experience than I did. Um, I'm wondering if maybe they added all of these extra... Like, it being different on different playthroughs. And all the extra options. Um, because there's only one character to play this time. So they, uh, <clears throat> so they switched it up a little bit to make it different. I wonder if that's the case. Okay. No old emergency asset. Rusty knob won't turn. That's fine. When operating the transformer, be sure to set the power transmitter to manual mode. The old system is prone to short circuiting. Careful not to let it exceed maximum levels. Will you set this device to manual mode? Yes. And then... Come over here. Okay. We push the switch. Yes. Okay, so... Red is error. Blue. What's the blue switch do? And then reset. I guess there's only one way to find out. What's blue do? Blue steps down? Okay. Oh. Nothing happened? What? <laughs> Hold on. Yes, I pushed the damn switch. Okay, what's red do? Red steps up. So wait, is it by 15 each time? I see there's a little number above it. What's the little number guy do with it? Yes, push the switch. Okay, so... That took it down by 5. So is it 5 times 1, and then 5 times 2, 5 times 3, 5 times 4? So if we do, and then 15 the other way, so 15 times 2, is it going to go up by 30? Yes, okay. So then... 5 times 3, so it'll go down by 15... And then it'll go down by 20, but that's not, that's not enough. Or it'll go up by 15, 15, 30, or it'll go up by 60. That's, that's good. Yeah, 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 that's good. That'll get us in the one room. <coughs> but then there's also the low voltage room that we need to figure out. But I guess we'll do this one first since that's the first one we unlocked. Uh, safe? Nope. Nothing in the safe. Cabinets. Hey, oh, there we go. Yes, take the Magnum. The Magnum is like a beast of a fucking gun. But generally speaking, it's like damn near impossible to get ammo for. Um, if you saw in the ammo crafting guide, the only way to get ammo for it is by getting three C's together. Which, we haven't found any C yet that I can think of. Uh, head to the emergency exit. Don't increase energy output. Because I want to be able to go through that other door still. And I don't know if I'll be able to do that with all these guys. Or if I, like, if I increase the electrical output, I don't know if it would, like, blow something up. Stars. Uh, Hi. Oh, hi to you too. <laughs> Is he going to chase us in here? I hope not. I hope he stays out there. I really want to go through that other door. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Hi. Uh, where's the door? <laughs> Let me through the door, please. Holy fuck. <laughs> I guess they never made it through the gate. All right, we should probably... Uh, we still have a little bit of health. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna heal yet. Hold on. 
and out you dead. I'm fine. I ain't dead yet. Will you push the switch? Yes. Okay, so let's go down. So we need to get it around 15. So let's go up by 15. And then down by 10. Down by 15. Down by 20. There we go. Too easy. Too fucking easy, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> Uh, okay. So I see something on the wall over there to pick up. Is that the fuse? Yep. Take the fuse. There we go. So we have everything that we need now to do the thing. So all we got to do is make it out alive at this point. And get back to the save zone. <laughs> as long as we can make it back to the save zone in one piece, we should, in theory, be able to use the cable car. Yep, yep, stars. Yep, yep. You don't like stars. Ow. Okay, now, now we need to fucking heal. We're still in caution? Uh, do I use it? Nope. Just fucking run. Just fucking run. Don't use it. Yep, he's coming. Oh boy, he's coming. <laughs> oh no, and there's gonna be the liquor dudes up here too. Fuck. Okay. Well, we'll heal. Maybe not. If if we run into the liquor dudes or whatever the fuck they're called, the creepazoids, we'll uh we'll fucking heal. But otherwise, we're just gonna keep running. Yep, nope. No creep creeper dudes because he's here instead. Is this the right way? This is not the right way. Fuck. Uh he's got a fucking bazooka! Oh shit! We made it. Okay. <laughs> that thing was coming at us, boy. Luckily, time freezes whenever you open doors. Everybody knows that. Like, <laughs> doors freeze time. Obviously. Hey, Mr. Noodle, you're finally back awake. Thank you for the five bits, love. I appreciate it. Just in time for the end of the stream, uh, I hear the dude yelling stars again or saying stars again. But we made it. We made it back to the safe zone. We got all the shit that we need. We are good to go. Fuck. <laughs> that was stressful as hell. Alright, let's uh I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to organize my inventory here. So uh yeah, I'm gonna organize my inventory and then save. And yeah, call it call it a night. I think. Do I even want it organize my inventory? I don't think I want to. <laughs> it's fine. Like fuck it. It's What's the worst that'll happen? I lose something. I do want to uh, combine that and that and that and that though. Before I forget to do so. And then put this back in here. And then since we're almost dead, we'll take a green and red herb to make a full heal. And then we need to take the... What do we need to take? We need to take this, this, and the save ribbon. Oh, should I take the wrench? I think I'm going to take the wrench. I don't know if we actually need the wrench to, to be able to get the thing up and running. But it feels right, you know? Having, having a wrench with us whenever we're going to be fixing some shit. So let's take the wrench too. There we go. And then we'll save and then we know where we need to go for next time, guys. Because that's, that's it. That's the end of the stream. We're done. <laughs> oh, boy. I uh, can't believe I had all those issues getting it up and running. But at least it's working now. And uh, that was fun. That was fun. I really do enjoy Resident Evil games, especially the older ones. Uh, Resident Evil 4, I'm a little bit iffy on. But the rest of them are mwah, A+. Plus. A+. Plus games. And uh, for everybody who came and joined me, I appreciate it, guys. Mr. Noodle, thank you. Nate, thank you if you're still hanging around. Rue, of course, thank you for being here with me for damn near the entire thing. I appreciate you all. And, uh, yeah. Hey, we doing good, though? We are. We are. All right, guys. Well, everybody have a nice night. I'll see you... What is today? Today is Saturday. So, tomorrow night, hopefully, with the, uh, the Just One More Level podcast. If, uh, if y'all are available, we'll be recording that. We may also be talking about the first Ghostbusters movie. If I have time to watch it, we'll see. 
and then uh then we'll be back for some more video games on tuesday so yeah <laughs> have a good night everyone thank you one last time Bye bye about a potential attack near where we live um i'm not going to get any more specific than that